This video contains subject matter that may be offensive and disturbing to some people. If you are the type to require a warning throughout a video or show, let this message serve as your warning. This channel discusses the harsh reality of true crime. If this warning is not sufficient for you, consider a different genre and unsubscribe from my channel immediately. What's going on, Freakazoids? Well, uh, apparently it's uh, Zozo and Kubi's birthday. So Mary Lou's going to have to sing each one individually. All right, Mary Lou. <laughs> I think I said Mary Lou. I don't know. Can't remember now. All right, Mary Lou, you got to sing happy birthday, all right, to uh, Zozo, the longtime mod. We'll get that one in. Hold on a second. What do you mean, Gray? Oh, Zozo, okay, yeah, she's nice to me. Well, she calls me names sometimes, but... Uh... Yeah, she does call you names sometimes, but that's because you deserve being called names. Isn't that weird? Okay, geez, well, sing happy birthday anyway. Happy birthday to Zozo! Happy birthday to Zozo! Happy birthday, dear Zozo! Happy birthday to you! And many more! Thanks, John Boy! Man, you sound like you smoked some cigarettes today. I sure did. I just smoked the straight-up hardcore cigs. No Retson, no diet cigarettes, nothing. Wow. I mean, Mary Lou just went cold, just smoking down uh, like a chimney almost. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, now, Mary Lou, it's also uh, Kubi's birthday. And, well, uh, by the way, thanks, Zozo, for... Uh, you know, all you do around here, getting in the chats. I know you've been kind of busy lately, but, uh, you know, I appreciate it anyways. All right, thanks. All right, here we go, here we go. Well, I got to do another one? Yes, it's Kubi's birthday, all right? Man. Oh, my, oh my God, God, I got to sing another one? Okay, okay here, here we go. go. <whistles> Happy birthday to Kubi. Happy birthday to Kubi! <laughs> Happy birthday to Kubi! Happy birthday to you! And many more! Yeah, you seem to be losing it, Mary Lou. Shut up, Timmy. Yeah, Mary Lou is just not really quite, um, you know, <laughs> she's not able to, not able to do it. But not too bad, right, uh, Mary Lou? Not too bad. Thanks, Gray. I tried my best. I know I coughed at the end there. I'll get back to those cigarettes with Retson. Maybe the ones with that are gluten free next time. Yeah, you should get on that. You should. Okay. All right, anyways, there we go, everybody. And by the way, everybody, this is a regular night. I see we're at zero to start off the show here. If you guys would like to help out the channel, there's always, uh, I do live shows every single day, seven days a week, three to four hour day show, uh, hour shows. I spent the entire day rebuilding the new model. This isn't the one on the screen yet. Um, I made another video this morning. And so, you know, when I do these shows, if you guys could help out, that'd be great because I also donate over 50% of the net revenue because that's what I want to do. But the more, you know, the, the, obviously I do better and then the charities do better. That's just the way it works. 
Okay, so thank you very much. If you would consider that, that'd be awesome. All right. Hey, thank you, Cheryl Bullock. Uh, I talked to her. Well, yesterday she just said she was, you know, she's probably just in pain and wants to relax, you know. That's what it sounds like. Right. All right, so you guys probably watched the video that I made earlier. And the video wasn't just based on willy-nilly sort of just randomly thinking about something like people want to believe. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Rhea Mazarone. Yeah, uh, it's literally based on, you know, I mean, I, I hear things, talk to people. There's different information out there that isn't just sort of the standard shit that people see. And when you kind of combine it with things that are people have said, it kind of makes more sense. I mean, I think the, you know, like when they go, well, I didn't say where, where Zena was killed in my theory. I, I think she was killed in the room. I think she, you know, if she went, let's just say she was in the room and Ethan's leaving. So... She walks to her door and then is going to lock the door, right? But then right as Ethan's walking out, he gets attacked. And then this person kills him and then comes at her and probably confronts her in the room on her bed. You know, that's probably the farthest place. You know how you would jump up there and try to get away? And that's probably what happened over there. Yeah. No, no, everybody keeps saying that killed in their sleep. I, I brought that up a million times, that they were killed in their sleep. But then there's been changes to it. I know, we, we've already gone over that a thousand times, Ultra Dark CEO. I brought that up a million times on the show. I said everybody keeps forgetting that they were attacked while sleeping. But doesn't that also mean like they were sleeping and he could have just got up at that moment, just prior to that. And later they sort of changed it where, one, you know, one of them wasn't in the room or something like that, or on the bed. One time she said that they were all on the bed because she just answered a question. Welcome, Joel. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I really, <laughs> you know, the thing that seems the most obvious, what you would think, is going through the sliding glass door on the second floor, then up to oops sorry about that then up to the third floor first then down to the second floor and then maybe you know ethan wakes up because he heard something but i don't know man i think kaylee and madison were probably out cold up there that's what it seems like Man, we got 479 watching. Oh well. <laughs> it's gonna be a struggle tonight, I can tell already. Even with my my show pitch, it just went <laughs> uh, well I we were told that the locks you have to lock it from inside like a deadbolt. Like that. Now he has it solved. Where, Wendell? Where's it solved? Anyways, I'm going to play the uh, some of these uh, videos here. You know that. You know, yesterday. Here's the thing: the video that came out, the new surveillance footage, has absolutely no meaning in terms of like what's in the video, other than I guess you could say it helps. The audio has maybe some interesting part in it. But when we, we just had the still frame, that's meaningless. And then we didn't know if the audio was connected because why would there be a still frame? But they, Brian Enton, or I guess it wasn't him. He's playing somebody else's video. But uh, they put out a the actual video. It's a full video. I know exactly where it was shot as well. So we can take a look at that.
Yeah, and it's exactly what I was saying, that it's just right after they leave the corner club. So it's right here. There should be a bench, actually, here, too. That you see in a larger photo. I don't know if it's... Uh, hold on. There's a couple of frames where you see it from 2021. Oh, there, that was 2021, right there. So I can't really tell, but I think, I think it might be that camera. If that's a camera right there, it's hard to really tell exactly which camera it is, but I can say for certain that it was filmed. I think that might be it right there. There we go. There we go. That camera right there is the one. And I'll show you the video here in a second. Yeah, hold on. Where the hell is it? There it is. No, he doesn't say that. Sorry, Lucky. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. You know, you know what it tells me is that it makes this guy seem absolutely unrelated to anything, too. So I guess that does make the video itself valuable. This guy right here that's walking with him has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Okay? He just looks like a guy that's... Uh, uh, he's a friend. I mean, I heard that he, he's a friend of theirs. And, um, you know, he just walked them over to the food cart. Wasn't going to buy anything. Just wanted to make sure that they made it home and everything. He, I don't think he has anything to do with anything. So all the people following him around and trying to... You guys are just ridiculous. I mean, have you noticed the only video I ever made was just the original one where he looks suspicious in the food cart. Uh, you know, the original grub truck video. That was it. Okay? The rest of it, after that, it was like, they, are, they cleared him, and then I left him alone when they cleared him. Okay? And, and the same thing with the ex-boyfriend. You know, as soon as law enforcement clears somebody, you got to kind of start moving in a different direction, even though, you know, occasionally, sometimes the original people they cleared turn out to be related to something. So... Hey, thank you very much, Maxine Van Dyke. Appreciate it. All right. What did you say to Adam? I mean, it's really obvious. Maddie, what did you say to Adam? And, and um, Maddie then, you can hear her voice. It's exactly what it sounds like in her charade video. I mean, that's her. Everything's from them. Hey, thank you very much, Tracy. Uh, so let's see, there's a bench here, and uh, one of the main things is a pole here, and then a, a tree right next to it that's slightly bent. And just so you can see it, it's right, there's the pole, there's the tree that's slightly bent, there's the camera, there's probably a bench. Uh, let's see, where would that be? Hold on a second. So there's that tree, and then there's a sign there. So, yeah, so there's... Probably that tree, I guess, apparently that bench isn't there at this time, unless it's behind, let's see. 
Yeah, I don't know. This is this is from October 2021. There it is right there. Okay. Does that make sense though? Yeah, so there's this tree, then there's a sign and then a bench just a little bit over from it. So there's the bench, and that's the other tree that bench maybe continues on, or maybe you just move the bench around a little bit. But you can obviously tell that that's a camera, and that is the camera that was used picking them up walking, which doesn't really, there's no significance in the video other than maybe the audio means something. Uh, I'm not doing too bad. Just now, there's a part about Adam. You know, uh, Maddie, what did you say to Adam? And then she says, "I told Adam everything." Well, that's sort of an interesting comment, right? I mean, it is interesting that the person is saying, you know, that they're. It's almost like Kaylee was concerned about like well what did you tell him i told him everything okay you know had a, had a few drinks you know probably thank you philly sports 820 had a few drinks maybe doesn't really um you know her inhibitions were reduced so she just would say whatever she wanted to say to this guy named adam now there's people out there that say adam is the roommate but is this is it the same adam the adam Apparently, in this one, is a bartender. But why would Kaylee care what... And how would you know the bartender's name unless you actually knew the person? And then why would you care what somebody would tell a bartender? They're just basically, like, a lot of times psychologists. So at the same time, why would anybody care uh, to... You know, like, who cares what you said? But she must have heard something and was a little nervous about what she may have said so then you wonder okay so this guy did he tell some he gets probably off work at 2 30 and then did he discuss what was told to him with somebody else later and then that set somebody off so maybe that's you got to also wonder why the dad like i said i'm sure the video is longer you know there's probably uh, if, if it isn't longer then that literally is all that was said that you could hear so maybe that's why it was released okay um you know she basically i mean i mean that is true so i i guess i have to think to myself that um, now that we see the video itself that there isn't anything specific that dad was trying to really get out there uh, about what was said because that's all there is said there i mean other than that the, you can't hear anything from a distance and then as they walk by, you probably can hear less and less too. Yeah, well, the thing is about what did you tell Adam? I told Adam everything. That's sort of, you know, that's interesting. Hey, thanks, Joel. Hey, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's weird. It, uh, that's still yellow at 1999. Seems like that would be orange, but. Anyways, thank you. Let me turn. I'm gonna turn on the uh, the stream labs. Haven't had that on in a while. Kind of miss it. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I watched the well. I watched the recap of. The, I turned on the World Cup right before the penalty kick, and the shot that uh, France should have scored on. But man, what a save by the goalie there. That goalie's the hero. I mean, he saved the uh, two penalty kicks and a last sort of minute save in the extra time. I mean, what a crazy World Cup that was. Unbelievable. So hopefully you guys actually watched that and maybe became to appreciate soccer a little bit more. Hey, thank you very much, Mike S. Let's see if that'll come on the screen now. And there's Eugenie. Hey, how's it going? Not Corvalli, but Eugenie. And right now the phone lines aren't open, so I'm going to make them open here in a minute. But um, yeah, 
I mean, you guys could... I mean, we keep talking about the same theory over and over again. But it, there's information out there that... Like when Steve Consalves said, he didn't have to go upstairs. It makes you wonder a little bit. You know? Except what he's saying about that is, but he did because my daughter is the um, target. But it also makes it seem like the sequencing was that Ethan and Zena were first. That's what it seems like based on that. To me. I mean, you can you can take it how you want to, but that's what it's always seemed like to me. Yeah, so that's just going to be right there. Anyways, and then they just walk to the grub truck down here. It's not far. I mean, so basically where the the uh, corner club was right there. This is where that surveillance, and they just went on a straight line right down here, and probably at some point, maybe right here across, maybe just right here they crossed the street, because remember how they came in from behind the grub truck? So that's all they did there. And, you know, other than that, it's just kind of, does does the Adam thing mean anything? They cleared the guy named Adam, but it doesn't mean that he wasn't told something that somebody else might have been interested in listening to. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what I said in my video, S.O. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if you watched it earlier, but I... I <laughs> oh, you're on, you're on uh, the TV. Okay, all right. I'm going to do the... Uh, Zoom, get Zoom going. Here. Recording in progress. Can't take a second here. Yeah, that wasn't it. Thank you, WNC Granny. And if any of you new freaks would out there would like to help out support the channel, that'd be great. We always have, like, I always feel sort of bad because it's all the incredible freak, freaks that have been here for so long. They always, uh, I mean, they're, they're responsible. I mean, they take care of me and the channel would be great to take some burden off of them from time to time. Uh, let's see. But, I, but either way, I really appreciate it. You guys are I mean, freaking amazing. Um, where's the phone number? Chewbacca? I don't know if they think of it as a burden, but I always feel sort of bad. Fellow Oregonian here, Abby, absolutely love your channel. You cracked me up with your comebacks to the trolls, lol. Underscore basic generation. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, WNC Granny and Purple Cottage Crafts. All right. Well, hopefully you're with me on how embarrassing Portland is at this point. You know, it's like, man, uh, get some law and order going on here. Well, there's Zozo. We did the happy birthday for you at the beginning of the show, Zozo. You probably missed it. And believe it or not, it was it's Kubi's birthday today, too. <laughs> you guys, that's funny. Although yours is tomorrow, really. Wait, yesterday. I think. I'm not doing it again. Are you kidding me? I'll say, yeah, because today is tomorrow for you. 
That's right. Okay, so, yeah, today is your birthday in Australia, but that's the 19th. There you go. I had it backwards in my head, but I knew what I meant inside. I said it backwards. Because in Australia, the way I do it is it's tomorrow and five hours behind in terms of the time. So it might be like 125 there in the afternoon, but it's tomorrow. And then daylight savings time makes it like seven or six or seven, something like that. <clears throat> All right, here you go. There's the phone, phone lines. I'd like to discuss what you think of what the new theory or, I mean, it's just a theory that I'm putting out there based off of information that the killer and it's it's also possible, you know, who knows? Maybe the one of the girls saw somebody at some point in the evening because the house I mean, just based on that body camera footage the other day, it just seems like, man, people just go there to party. Apparently it's sort of an based on what the cops said, it's an unofficial sort of sorority party house. You know. Like that's where people go. <laughs> so people might just show up there, which is crazy. Um, so mainly people would probably hang out that randomly showed up in the living room or kitchen because the rest of it's sort of just kind of getting somewhere. Stairs, hallway. What was that? All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta fix some things here. I'm not gonna allow that. Actually, I could do that. I'm doing the waiting room again. All right, Stephen, you're on there. Hello. Hello. What's going on? Uh, not too much. Um, the, uh, before hopping into the theory, I just wanted to compliment you on like these six to ten minute videos that you put out. Like I, I always try to watch those. I uh, don't always have time for the, the live streams. But yeah. uh, even when I don't, I always watch the those, like six to ten minute videos. They're, they're great. Yeah, I think I need to do more of those. <laughs> it seems like people like watching those, you know, for sure. Yeah. And um, yeah, and, and your last one, of course, was about the the um, a theory on, on this case, and mm -hmm. and that makes a, a lot of sense to me. And uh, just one little detail that I found interesting, and I think is consistent with your theory, is Maddie and and Kaylee were f found in the same room, mm -hmm. and so if Ethan comes out, let's say confronts confronts um, the, the killer. And, and and I don't know if it's initially a killer came in with the intent to kill or to just threaten or whatever. But if he comes in um, and then there's a lot of noise, let's say, from Ethan confronting him and then Zayna running to his side or, or, or whatever. And Kaylee and Maddie hear something. And Kaylee f is freaking out because she hears an argument downstairs. Maybe Kaylee's initially in her own room and then runs over to, like, Maddie's room. Mm -hmm. um, I... I, I think I think that little detail, um, yeah, it could be consistent with the theory as well. Um, yeah, but it sounds like uh, her bed wasn't even made or anything. But also those phone calls. What about the phone calls from two twenty six to two fifty two to Jack? So that means yeah. they're sort of awake and they're just kind of because apparently they were they were uh, trying to make sure that he wasn't screening his calls so had Madison call and then Kaylee tried calling one more time so they're still awake at 252 probably just sitting in the same room anyways right yeah when you put together the the comments about Adam and like the tone of voice that was in, that was in those comments as well mm -hmm. take that in combination with calling an ex-boyfriend at like 
to something in the morning yeah. and even desperate enough to have your friend call. Well, that's what I was thinking because they, like I was thinking to myself, I wonder if they were nervous that the Adam might say something to him, right? That to to the ex-boyfriend. I mean, I, that's what I was thinking actually. Like, I mean, I don't know. Um, when you well, when you take it into context, how would you assume that something negative? Because they cleared Adam apparently has nothing to do with anything, so it would be somebody that Adam might talk to. That then somebody might be nervous that they hurt her and, and are feeling bad and then that's why maybe you might call the ex-boyfriend what do you think about that yeah yeah if if adam is somehow a conduit to some kind of info that kaylee didn't want getting out yeah but go um, like kaylee's like you know they're drunk and what did you tell adam you know because adam might know her ex or something and then madison says i told him everything and then it's like oh jeez. Yeah, but they're drunk and they just don't really care at that at that time. Probably didn't care that much, and then maybe later, sobering up a little bit at home, an hour or so later, hour and a half later, they, you know, I I don't know. Who, who knows the actual reason that the call was made to um, to Jack? We we don't know. Thinking back to my college years, like like. Uh, repeated calls at two something in the morning I, I can't think of an example of that except for a case where like there is basically a relationship blowing up and like i i, I can't see I, I can't see a scenario where there's so many calls repeatedly and even getting the friend to do it mm -hmm. at that time of night unless there was something that was that they felt was uh, desperate or really emotional about you know and yeah. Yeah, or somebody's like, you know, you're drunk and you're trying to do a booty call or something. Oh, I can call my ex up, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just saying because it's kind of late. I'm not really yeah, sure yeah. what the, or you know, that you're just emotionally upset about something. Although I just, I don't know. I, yeah, it's just it's kind I, of a strange one. And one other small thing, like you, you kind of mentioned uh, the the other roommates that were on the first floor. And I, I think it's worth keeping in mind that they were reportedly out and about. And uh, I, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure where they were, but there's I mean, it's a college town. There's uh, a decent chance they were out drinking. And so so their responsiveness to to loud noises might not be. Yeah, uh, and, and and then also like mm. on on college campuses, sometimes you just hear random yelling as well, and like I I think I think it's easy to look retrospectively. Yeah, at, even at screaming, it. you know, just screaming sounds people you know make. Oh, like something really crazy happens, so they scream. And I think when you're in college, you just a lot of the stuff just seemed pretty normal. Some of the sounds, but I think the roommate below Zena probably heard something that didn't sound normal at all. I think that, uh, I think in the morning probably crept up the stairs, looked around, saw the bloody, you know, like maybe there was a little bit of blood, but some, but he wasn't responding and then said, oh, it looks like somebody passed out, but didn't really talk about the blood part. And then friends came over. They're the ones that reported it, but then she probably told, she and the other roommate maybe talked about all these other stuff that went on. And that's all in the 911 call relayed to the operator, and that's why we're not uh, we're not going to get to hear it. I, I was reading about this one case in Canada where like this guy s stabbed like five people to death in in about a minute, and and the re reason I bring that up is like even though four people died, like it could have happened relatively quickly to the point where like someone who's like conked out dead asleep downstairs yeah. like wakes up they hear a noise they still kind of have that brain fog of they just woke up out in the middle of a deep sleep you know and it's over relatively quick and they, they don't hear any more sounds and they're just like okay uh, maybe it's just random yeah I mean it could have been within like five minutes or less I mean this whole thing I mean my little video that I make you know add a couple you know 20 seconds to that and you, that's how, only how long it would take 
you know, where the person walks up the stairs, goes over to here, up, and, and that's just walking. I mean, they might have been in more of a hurry, you know, kind of jogging or hustling. Yeah. So, anyways. All right. <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Thanks a lot, Dre. All right, man. Thanks for calling. Have a good one. Yeah. All right. Uh, nine seven zero. You're on. Hey, Gray. How you doing? Pretty good. Who's this? Um, Colorado. That's where I'm calling from. So I had oh, yeah. a. Okay. I wanted to talk to you. First of all, you mentioned Portland. I, I lived in Milwaukee, Clackamas, Happy Valley area, and actually west of Portland in Beaverton. And I got to agree, Portland's fallen apart real quickly. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, they. They basically decriminalized drugs and then defunded a lot of the police services. Where I lived, we didn't even have a local police department. It was sheriffs only. So you could tell it was coming for the last five years or so. Once COVID hit, it really turned south. Oh, yeah. I don't understand why people are staying out there, but it's a nice area if you're not paying attention to every corner. <laughs> well, it's just the political leaders are embarrassing. They just Everything's just so political to them. Instead of doing the right thing and clearing the streets of finding a place to put the homeless people but clearing the freaking streets and making it a safe place again for people to work in the downtown and you know enjoy the city like this was one of the top destinations of people to go now it's one of the last it's absolutely a joke and it's their fault and they're just uh, you know they're highly political and it's you know a west coast yeah <laughs> Thing. I guess it happens from Seattle to LA. I'm from LA, but I, I totally agree with you. They've politicized everything, mm-hmm. and they've never really given it much thought. You know, when you I see the the homeless problem out here growing too in Colorado, so it's becoming a bigger and bigger issue everywhere, not just in these places. But Portland really has fallen apart. Although the locals there, they joke it's the armpit between Seattle and LA, and it, it really kind of is yeah. if you. You don't want to be in Seattle, and you can't afford to live in L.A., people settle on Portland. And, and if you're in downtown Portland, which people don't understand because of the way the, the Columbia River is, mm-hmm. if you're in downtown Portland, it's horrible. But if you can get outside of just that boundary and into some of the suburban areas around there, quite nice pockets. But, yeah, it's – it's yeah. I mean, I got lucky. The property value went through the roof in a matter of four years because they legalized weed. But after that, they decriminalized <laughs> all drugs, and it's kind of falling apart. Yeah, they didn't follow it up with any mental health. Yeah. So anyway, enough about uh, Portland. Yeah. So when we're looking at this whole Idaho situation, the gentleman that just called was talking about a skinny, nerdy guy in Canada who killed five sorority women by stabbing them, and it all happened in under a minute. Mm-hmm. And I think it was important in that article to point out that the guy was not muscular at all. But when we look at this Idaho case, we learn these details, and I feel like all these details trail back to one common denominator in this whole thing. And really, from everything we know, which we're not entitled to what the police have, but everything we know, if we look at the only one in this whole circle that would have motive, I feel like everything comes back to that common denominator. So we can assume Adam is the bartender, but we can also assume that him and Jack DeCore used to split grocery bills on their Venmo account. So at one point they lived together and were pictured together two houses over from where this incident took place. And I just feel like no matter what route we go down, I wanted your opinion on this, but whatever route we go down, does it feel like it's always leading back to the X? Well, I mean, um, you know, the X has always been, it's just so interesting how everything it that he's got a, he's such a perfect person to add in there but I don't I don't know I'm not really I don't you know to be honest with you he's always somebody that it seemed like it could be but I don't well, think uh, it seems like things are pointing away from him at this point the amount of time it's taking uh, how so, long so the interesting part with the yeah. the interesting part with this Adam video is it feels like now we have more context to why all of those phone calls happened in a short period of time. Yeah, it could like be. They why. wanted to call and explain what happened, and if we if we know they left the food truck at one thirty, then 
remember, this is a very small town, mm. small bar. Everybody knows each other. And I would just imagine that whatever somebody who's slightly intoxicated like Maddie was is not quietly talking about what they're telling Adam. So we, we might be able to assume that some people in that bar overheard it, which means the ex had plenty of time to find out about this before they were ever even back at the house. And then the dog is the huge questionable aspect for a lot of us. We're all going, what? Yeah. What's up? Well, with the dog's the dog? pretty and young. You learn... It's only it's less than a year old, so it's kind of like a puppy. Maybe it doesn't have those instincts. Or yeah, but the ex boyfriend, I mean, the parents should have got the dog personally, I think. But this, this is where it gets really tricky for me with the ex. I'm not sure many people know, but he was a champion tennis player in high school. He's actually quite athletic. Yeah, he's a good. He's, uh, he's not weak or anything like people think. Definitely got the arm strength. And his brother is in the Marines, which is also the service that issues the K-Bar knife regularly or used to. We don't know if they still do, but Mm -hmm. there's just a lot of things that come back. And I think everybody looks at this and goes, well, we keep wondering about him. And they haven't said his name specifically, though they can't name him as a suspect either by name. So it just feels like Occam's razor. And everything's come back to the most simplest explanation. I mean, he's he's an interesting person for sure. I mean, that's why I made it. I made a video on that him from at the very I beginning. It. I agree. Yeah, but it's like since then things have shifted a little bit. Um, you know, like, but every, but again, yeah, it's like every every time you turn around, there's something else that makes you go, huh? That seems to be something that might be related to the the ex boyfriend. But you know, again, law enforcement cleared him, and and the family always speaks highly people try to make a big deal over a look you know at a so at a that, that look haunts me I yeah mean, but i don't see i don't see anything there at image, all i didn't see anything at all it, when it, I that. The, there's just feels like there's a smirk on 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 the the ex's face and the interesting part is that. they were followed they were all right. friends on facebook and recently they're not with the ex mm-hmm. so that kind of ring some bells and also wonder if that's why they're kept in the dark so much is because they're so close to the one person maybe law enforcement suspects anyway i got one more thing i want to say and then you know you got other people to entertain i love your show by the way thank you for everything you do recently there was a and this is all alleged we do not know i do not know this to be a fact but there was a uh, video recently of a gentleman who's closely connected to one of the law enforcement officers in Moscow. And there were a few details that were disclosed to kind of help people piece it together. And it was more or less all that this person knew. The time they heard they have a scream on camera at 3.38 a.m. That's how they know so close as to time of death. And that we he believes that came off the camera from the next door neighbor. Hmm. And then... I don't know. Uh... I, I really don't. I, I don't know either. The other thing was, uh, what camera? What do you mean the camera? The next door neighbor? What are you talking so about? So there's a there's pictures of the police at the house right next door, and they have what looks like a light bulb camera on their front porch. Yeah, I know. I know what camera that is. But what, but what are you talking about when you say that there's a uh, that people are? Um, so it, it's supposed. What, not saying the screaming what, what, what the screaming was on a, on a different camera it was on that totally is but what this guy was saying what law enforcement has that we don't know about yet is specifically related to a screen that happened on camera at 338 which is how they were able to mm-hmm. identify time yeah. of death well how do, how do they know window. how do they know i mean how does this person know that we, we really, all he said was that he's closely connected to somebody in the law enforcement in Moscow. Okay. Well, that's, that actually very fits short. right into uh, my theory and information that I have, um, extra information. But, I mean, it sounds like that, you know, 315, 345, you know, in that time frame, that's exactly right in the middle of that, so. That's yeah, pretty- and it's, so it's just kind of questionable. Again, it's all hearsay. We're all trying to piece it together. I think we all looking for some peace of mind on this one, but not getting it. <laughs> so yeah. uh, anyway, but, I appreciate. But what the thing is, is I, I mean, the thing is, is the short videos. Oh, thanks. But yeah, I mean, the thing is, I just have. I'm, I'm not gonna, like, I can't confirm anything you just said about the 338 or anything like that. So some random correct guy, and then you know, like 
I get emails from people that I don't can't confirm anything either. But there, you know, sometimes you hear something and you go, "Hmm, that sounds pretty reasonable." So sometimes know. they fit, sometimes it doesn't. That's what makes it, yeah. I think, intriguing to some of us the puzzle of it all. Yep. All right. Appreciate it, Gray. Well, thank you. Have a good one. Bye bye. You too. All right. Well, I'm going to have to do my second public service announcement because we're two nights in a row really slow in here. So if you guys would like to help the channel out with all the time that I spend on here, if you become channel members, the Super Chats, PayPal, and whatnot, and then that allows me... I'm trying to get... I was trying to hope for like a miracle to get us up to 60000 to true crime-related charities at the end of the year. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, we're sort of going in a the downward direction. So if you guys could help out, that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I mean, especially with 1,346 people watching, it shouldn't be too hard at all. If it was a dollar a piece, we'd be able to easily have a great night. <laughs> you, know, you know, just pretend sometimes that somebody is, you know, doing hard work for you. All right. Hey, thanks. P.S. There you go. Wow, look at that right there. Very kind. Very kind. Ocean wave. And by the way, we got wave. the. Uh, Ocean wave. I think you're the one that sent me the thing on the the kid, right? That we tried to get to, two hundred thousand. I think that was you. And thank you very much to, Alley Cake. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Hey, thank you. Cali Gal 3. There we go. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for doing the thing. Thanks. You're a good person. Thank you, Tracy Seymour. I don't care Seymour. what anyone says. <laughs> you don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I don't care what they say, Gray. You're okay. I don't care what they say. Dream of blue skies and sandy beaches. Thank you, Kells. All right. Wow, jeez, you guys. And thank you very much, Mary Crossley. I think the killer is somebody that all the people in the house would know. That's what I think. And I think that's what ended up killing. What's, in, what's interesting to me is, why, didn't, why not just call off the murder once... Like, let's say he did run into Ethan first. Why not just see Ethan and then call off the murders? That means he hated them all anyways. See, this, this person hated them all anyways. Oh, look at that, the, uh, the cattle mutilation UFO. Yeah, so the person, he went in there and he hated all of them. And for keeping us level -headed on this case. he was there for, uh, he was on a mission. And when Ethan came out in the theory that I have, he just attacked him immediately. And anyway, Ethan's tired, probably had a few drinks. He's heading home, just heading out that door, and he gets attacked. And maybe he tried to retreat back to the room, too. You never really know, right? To get in there and lock the door, but he couldn't make it. And then Zena uh, was there. What are you doing? What are you doing? And then, I mean, there must have been, I got to tell you, there must have been absolutely loud yelling and sounds coming down to that roommate that lives right below. I mean, I think that anybody thinks that somebody could sleep through that, uh, and there's no chance. About time I kicked in some gas money. Hey, Been thanks, Jason. For a week. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. And thanks, everybody. Renee Carr up there as well. Thanks for keeping us level-headed on this case. Yeah, I try to, you know, not go down all the crazy rabbit holes like, um, you know, like people say there's an atom that's a roommate uh, or like a friend of the ex-boyfriend of Kaylee 
Um, is that the same Adam that's the bartender? I mean, has anybody clarified that? Yeah, I've seen the new... Uh, and I haven't watched it, but Casey Anthony is just full of crap. Da, 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 da. Well, thank you to Jan H. On PayPal. Thank you. Um, don't we have a link to PayPal in here? I don't know. You guys. Somebody asked for one. I don't see it. Jimmy Edwards. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, K Casey Anthony. Um, I think I, we don't know exactly what she did, but I guarantee it she's a hell of a lot more responsible for her child's death than what she claims. You know, especially her attitude afterwards, just absolutely partying it up, having a great time. You know, <laughs> I mean, I, nobody buy into the shit that, that she's saying. I mean, you don't even have to watch it. Just realize she's full of crap. In fact, watching it actually benefits her. She's making millions now, probably. I haven't watched a second of it. Yeah, I think that the I think the odds of the girl the let me just look at it again. Okay, I'm going to show you this. I'm working on a new model, by the way. Here, let me let me save this, and then I'm going to I'll show you the new one that I'm working on. And the, uh, the phone lines are open if anybody wants to call in. So I'm going to reset this really quick. And then open up the new one that I'm working on. I don't think that was it, though. Hmm. Hold on. Look how much crap I've got in here. I mean, it just never ends. Floor pan. New design two. That was the one right there. So here it is. This is the new one. It's, I think it's a hell of a lot more accurate. I just, I, I'm just kind of, I mean, this took me a day and a half here just to do, make sure I have everything set. But this is actually eight feet there, which is way bigger than what I had. And it's 1.9 inches over here on that one. And now I, I still don't have, this is the second floor here. This will end up being where I can just take this and move it up like that. That'll be the third floor, but then there's different stuff going on in there. But uh, this one is a lot, way more smooth and accurate. Uh, now I have this nice little angle here. I can put the sliding doors in. Uh, it's going to be good. All right. <laughs> I know it's like, oh, man, but... The other one's pretty good too, but I want it. I like it when it's really accurate, and I want this one to be where I can just grab a level and hide it. One of the parts that's hard is the stairs because the wall goes all the way up. So, for example, right here, um, I might have to. I mean, what I might do with something like that is take the these vertices right here move it over a little bit oh shit you got to turn off the, there you go like that maybe right next to that one like this and then what happens is is these go up to the next floor and so that might be something where there's a, uh, a function called extrude, just letting you know really quick, where it, you shoot it, it goes up like this. So, like there's a wall, the person goes up, and then this is on the next floor, and then I, may, I have to make that side go up too. Then they make it up here, and then there's this little wall that comes off of here that has a piece of wood on it. Uh, it's like a railing, so, you know, it's it's coming together. It's coming together. We'll just see how that goes. But anyways, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. All right.
I'm going to open up the other one that we just had open. There we go. This thing got really crazy. Watch this. I let me unhide the roof there. I didn't. I didn't even notice this. I should have made videos on this. But watch this. So you know the head camera video that I have on this one, right? How it walks through, and then goes up the stairs, and then goes into Madison's room. But watch this. I I have these other cameras that I already had in the scene. And look look at this one. Camera one. This is from another video. Look how wild this is. So he's got the camera and the light. I should have made one like this. Look how weird this one is. Watch. So. It, this camera zips by and then it looks this way and then the person walks by the camera and then this finally goes up I mean the feet aren't very good on the stairs they're like in the side of the steps but I didn't really care when I was just using the camera and then follows them up here looks over at Kaylee's room and then look now he's coming back look at that look at that spooky <laughs> look at that Jeez. this is a really old character from this program that I've got goes like that and then I think goes downstairs and he might there he is look at and then he's turning already after killing you know that's the version with the Xena and Ethan then goes into that room so remember this is that one of the versions I had but I'm just looking through the same camera it's crazy and there he is went outside right there then then there's camera two here so let's see what that one does so camera two is sort of similar but it goes this way first and then it probably will run into the person coming back down the stairs after killing yeah there it is boom like that and so that was the other one and then let's see what number three is it starts out there so again follows up oh yeah I think this one it's different. Should run into him again right down here at the bottom. Yep. But then this time the killer goes in here next and then goes down to the first floor and exits out that way. So you know they there's a witness that says that the first floor door is open at eight thirty in the morning. No, it won't help at all, LMM. There's no there's no shots inside the in the house. How would it help? Jesus, that body camera footage is useless. Um, the only thing you get from the body camera footage is, yeah, the house has parties. You can see into the room uh, right here. Uh, you know, jeez, look at that. All these little helper things that they put on here. You can see into this room right here, and there's golf clubs and stuff like that. If somebody lives in that room. Okay, so somebody yesterday said that there's... Now, nobody lives in that room, but there's golf clubs. There was barely any, you could barely see through a sliver. You don't know if there was a bed in there that was completely made or anything. Yeah, and, you know, the video doesn't help. It, it might help a little bit with the stairs, but I, that part's all dialed in anyway. The original stairs on the first floor, because the door does open for a second. You can see it. I think the guy that made, whoever made this, I don't know if it was a guy or, Girl, this thing is really helpful, uh, but they're kind of just using the same floor plans and everything, but I think they're pretty accurate because uh, inside of here, this is something I had way off, like this closet door I had right over here because that's how a diagram had it. Welcome, L. Cassie. And I think most of this other stuff is right. Like even uh, where they have it right over here on the stairs, this little thing that juts out right there that's something that exists what the heck lanky tour jeez thank you lanky tour what's going on very cool thank you very much na, 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 na. Thank you to Tracy 
on PayPal there. Thank you very much. You get double uh, chances on that too. And also uh, Donnie, thank you very much. Said, uh, thank you for all you do in the true crime community. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, we make a huge difference here. Um, I know it's kind of, you know, I have a monetized channel and whatnot, but at the same time, we, because of the generosity of all the freaks, for those of you that are new here, uh, let me show you the numbers. This year, we've donated 54, from the income from the channel, not fundraisers or anything like that, $54,750. And since January 2020, 119250 That's, you know, so that's, the first year was only 22000 right? Last year was 42500 This year, we're already at 54. The goal was 50, you know, trying to beat the 42, but we're way ahead of that. And we still got the rest of the month to go here. So we might get to you know, 58 or 59 or something like that. And then maybe next year the goal will be 60. And, you know, I'm not expecting <laughs> to do as well next year. I mean, so there was just some crazy months in this month that made us get up to that number. But uh, I try to donate over 50% of the net revenue, you know. So after I pay my quarter, my taxes, I give 50% of what's left over. And, yes, I do write off. So I get some back later, but it's not like what people think. Oh, my God, you get the whole money. You know, it just means your taxes are a little bit less. So uh, many weird cases. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, Debbie Collier, Kylie Rodney, this one. Those seem like they were the three biggest ones. Dylan Rounds was pretty big, but I didn't really cover that as much after it got going. Just that, that case was the quickest shit show in the history of mankind. Like, two days after he's missing, it's just an absolute mess with this crazy detective guy that showed up. You know, just, whew, wow. Uh, let's see. Oh, somebody called in, so let me get that. 912, you're on. Oh, hello. I just had a comment about... upstairs mm -hmm. and since there were two girls and since there was two girls in there he was more violent on the second one so it's not necessarily targeted it just looks like that because if mm -hmm. there was two he would take the first one out quickly and then the second one he would do more damage to so that's why it looks like yeah that. But except maybe but maybe he intentionally took out the one first because they were both sleeping he chose the one that he took out quickly to because that was another witness and then the one that he was Targeting is the one that he took the rage out on. Because, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're right. I mean, we don't really know. Even though one person has the worst wounds, does it really mean that they were the target? Or is that just sort of an assumption even law enforcement makes? Right? Right. If yeah. they were all in different bedrooms, would he have killed them all the same way or just went to one of them? That's what makes it real well, confusing is that there's two in one bed. Well, you know what's an actual possibility is that he might have gone in there and only killed one person. Had other people, you know, like if Madison and her weren't in the same room, it might have just been Kaylee, Zanna, and Ethan killed. Had Ethan somehow not, you know, whatever happened there, um, you know, like w the reason they were killed, whatever it was, if that didn't take place, it might have just been Kaylee that was killed, but in some, but but there are a lot. Uh, some part of me believes that they they were all killed intentionally. Like this guy went there to kill all of them. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like that's what yeah. I think and he was doing. Sorry to interrupt. The other two doors were locked. Is what I was thinking to add to that. That's why he didn't kill those girls. They were just their doors were locked. You know. Yeah, and then maybe, you know, we well, here's one thing we don't know is were uh, Madison and, and Zena's room locked and he just knew the combination or somehow. I bet it doesn't, I don't know. You know, it's just one of those things like somebody had a good point, makes sense. You have all these good friends living in a house. Maybe you all use the same combination for your doors so you can say, hey, can you go get me my, uh, you know, whatever, and they can get in there. But people outside don't know it. But Man, if you have that many people with it, 
you give it to the wrong person, they would know. But I think it's more likely they just left it unlocked. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. And there's with that door cam or whatever, the uh, cop uh, body cam that Mm -hmm. time with the noise complaint, there was plenty of people in there. They didn't even know who owned the house. They didn't even know. There was lots of people in there, plenty of people. Where I, I think it could be someone just outside of that. Who didn't know them? Who was in their party and was like, "Wow, this, I could I could wreck shop in this place," and he, you know, there's yeah. DNA and it there and caused havoc that night. That's why, yeah, using to people. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't laughing oh. at you. Somebody, uh, I can never say their name right, and they sent a super chat where it's phonetically spelled out for me. But yeah, the um, no, no, it, this is you gotta admit, like this case is absolutely. Uh, bizarre you know it's not common at all like people say ah well you know it happened here and here it really isn't i mean this is these are one of those things that just uh, totally baffling what do you think i agree the four the four is so violent it would either be for hatred like for example if that if they had something to do with the suicide of that roommate a relative could come in there and just be so pissed to do that or like i i think it's someone that's just outside the circle but I wanted to say one more thing about the dog. A dog that's used to people won't bark at all. It doesn't matter where it is. It could be walking someone, mm-hmm. have sex, say, or whatever. But I don't know. Something they're not going to bark for. It. And so that's not a problem with me. And and the guy Jack or whoever the the boyfriend is, mm-hmm. he could get her at any time. He could he could get her at any time by herself. Why would he go in there and kill four people? That's <laughs> like to me that's absurd that it's that guy. In my opinion, I don't I don't. Yeah, that kind of that's actually actually pretty good point but maybe it's something said in uh, okay let's just throw out a theory like adam you know the adam guy that heard something let's just pretend that there's some kind of connection and then he goes home and tells him that and it makes him he's just enraged and then goes over you know not really thinking about like let's set up a i'll set up a time and i'm going to do this so i mean i know i know what you're saying um but, you know, there are cases out there like that. It's kind of more of a second-degree craziness, right? Like a heat of yeah. passion yeah. situation. But they've cleared him, and that's kind of... He's still he's always been interesting in terms of everything. You know, the dog, the keys, a recent breakup. Um, everybody would know him. So, you know, then he'd have to take ev- out everybody so they're not witnesses. You know, so all of that right. stuff makes sense, but again, that doesn't mean somebody's the killer. It's just an interesting individual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry about that. I got these sound effects going, but I appreciate you. Uh, anything else you got? I think it's complicated. Hold on. Uh, no, sir. Thank you so much for taking my call. Have a great night. Oh, you too. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Bye bye. It's going to be solved really soon. I think it's complicated. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I think, and I've said it from the beginning, that I that I think that there's a very good chance that they have a DNA sample from the person. And that's why I'm pushing for they should have a rapid FGG response team. <laughs> like literally... You just, in two days, have it sequenced and uploaded to GEDmatch and then have forensic genetic genealogists work on it. And by the way, thanks uh, for calling in. That was interesting stuff there. Thank you. Uh, You have good thoughts. You probably, you know, you're more of the uh, Occam's razor type like me, so that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what it is. I made a theory early on with the X just using a first name and no no images. And as soon as they cleared him, I made it just for members only, you know, because it's, you know, it was interesting regardless. And uh, that's it, you know, so. My biggest fear is they have, I think they do have DNA. There's almost no chance, you know, whatever, however they got it, you know, off of the hands touching. I mean, there's one of the people fought with this guy somehow and got something on him it just feels like there's almost no chance you'd have to be wearing like a tyvek suit to go in there and not leave anything yeah 
Yeah, you like the emojis? Yeah, so when you're a channel member, you get these emojis here. Uh, if you look down there, you can see them. Look at ding, 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 ding. I'll probably get spam just for putting those in. But look at these. I'm putting them in the chat right now. They all have a significant meaning here. All right? Every one of them. Some are more meaningful than the others, but there you go. They're right there. I wonder if I have more slots available. I haven't even checked lately. I might get rid of maybe one of that weird guy that looks like Santa Claus, like the got the long hair. Um, <laughs> there, there's some that are just like funny. I will tell you guys, for the new people here, I will just tell you the one that everybody thinks is funny, the, the lizard eye one, this one right here. So this gives you a little bit of insight in who I am here. I'm really smooth, you guys. Um, I'm one of the smooth, uh, smoothest people there ever was. So I was in a bar. I'll, I'm going to explain it to you. I was in a bar. There was this really cute waitress in there. And I was talking to her, and then she came and sat at my table, and everything was going well. And I thought she had really pretty eyes. They looked exotic. And instead of saying that, I said, wow, your eyes look like a lizard. Okay? And, you know, she didn't throw a drink in my face, but it seemed like she did get up really quickly after that and go somewhere else. So it really didn't work out for me. All right? But I don't know why. That should have just been funny. Okay? <laughs> All right? That should have been funny to that person, but they didn't laugh at all, right? I mean, who doesn't want to have lizard eyes, right? Wow, your skin's like a crocodile. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah. she blew it, man. <laughs> she blew it. Yeah, that's right. Let me turn on this. Oh, did anybody else call in? Let's see. Nope, no calls. All right, I'm gonna go use the uh, facilities real quick. All right, so hold on. Here's some. Here's your great music to listen to. She did, man. She blew it. You know, I was also thinking about the, you know, the whole Adam thing where it says, um, you know, what did you tell Adam? Oh, I told him everything. I mean, who knows, man? Maybe there was some other thing that Adam was part of somewhere and was told about it and has nothing to do with any extra thing. You know, it's like, what'd you tell Adam? Because maybe there was this girl that liked him or something somewhere and and she said, oh, I didn't... So we don't really know what that is. Oh, yeah, shoot, I forgot to... Uh, forgot to flush the toilet.
Yeah, what, what do you got, Mary Lou? I have some questions, Greg. I don't want to take your calls. Okay, okay bye. bye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, haven't heard the apple crunch in a minute. Well, here it is right here. Chick is going to knock on your door and say, remember me? Oh, yeah. That's right, Dennis. One of these days where you have to do the Schnee Oberholzer thing. Dennis, when everything dies down, you'll have to just come on and do the whole three-hour retrospective, you know, moving from point to point. You know what I'm saying, Dennis? Not, no, we can't have the, uh, like, I know you, uh, when Dennis does something, he gets into this minutia detail where it's, you know, it's all interesting, but when you do a three-hour show, you need to have, like, you just keep moving. He's got so much information, it's crazy. So we need the uh, 50,000, 40,000 foot view. What am I looking at, looking at, looking at? Oh, hold on. <laughs> you ever uh, on Overwise? I don't know what that means. I've never heard, had an Overwise banana shake. No, it's not, Zaza. It's not. Where are you coming up with this garbage? My God. Uh, let's see. Jesus. You weren't even paying attention. You just show up and go, hey, what's it? The okay, you can say whatever you want. It's your birthday. <laughs> it's just... Thanks, Shan Dalton. Found a video of you doing karaoke. Well, so that's what the dad said. Waiting for you to drop your rap album. Been watching since Delphi and can always count on you for great content. Thanks for all your hard work. The Mary Lou rap album. <laughs> wonder if I could, wonder if you think I could sell it? Like if I had Mary Lou do a bunch of different raps and put it on my, and made it like a a four MP3 set, you know? <laughs> oh man, yeah, it could be a serial killer. Uh, until somebody's arrested, we don't know. Hey, let me get out the uh, Fox News article. So here it is right here. Um, newly disclosed surveillance video said to have been taken early on November 13 appears to show slain. Well, it doesn't just appear. That is them. University of Idaho student Kaylee Gonsalves and Maddie Mogan. Why do you why even use appears to be? It's just, God. Sometimes people, you know, trying to, uh, like a overly sensitive like hey, you know we don't we don't know for sure no you do know for sure it's them okay there is zero doubt that that is madison and kaylee walking with the same guy that shows up to the grub truck uh, grub truck just moments later right down the street even the woman appeared to be wearing the same clothes <laughs> they're trying to sleuth to us we don't have any material for this article so let's describe why we think it's them the women appear to be wearing the same clothes, they have the exact same voices, and seem to be walking with the same guy that shows up with them at the grub truck. Of course, we don't really know. There could have been a, a group of alien chameleons that showed up there, maybe even shapeshifters that tried to uh, make themselves look exactly like them. The man walking with them is also wearing clothes that looks like those on, on a man seen at the food truck. Wow, these guys are in great research there. That's amazing. Now, look, let me show you. See how this guy, and I'm going to circle him over here. He's got the white hoodie there. Notice how she's got the white shirt, and over here. Don't you think that's ludicrous, you guys? Just a little bit. Uh, who said that? Now, 
I, I'll, I'll, I, I'm actually contemplating showing you at the end of the year the entire income from YouTube, okay? Because that's where I what I do base the donations on, and then you'll see that the net, uh, the amount that I donate is over 50% of the net revenue, okay? Because usually it's by 30% taxes. I have state and federal in Oregon, and so you know. Let's say if I made a hundred thousand dollars, let's say on YouTube, and I would be donating probably forty thousand because I get seventy and I donate over fifty percent, right? So that just is what it is. So you can take that with <laughs> whatever you want to do. It doesn't bother me at all. I know exactly. I'm telling now. Um, PayPal I use to augment the donations to make sure it's way over that. And then I also use PayPal for things like going to CrimeCon, if I need a new computer, things like that. You guys totally take care of me and allow me to be able to do that. Is that, is that okay? Or, you know, um, I don't have a corporation or anything behind me. It's just you guys are the ones that support me and make sure that I can do the stuff that I do. All right, let me get the... Over here. Hello, eight five six. Hey, Gray. It's Lillian. Okay, I was wondering if that was you. How are you doing? Well, uh, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> yeah. And I just wanted to call and um, let you guys know that I appreciate all the well wishes and uh, this pain medication and everything's kind of got me uh you know a little nauseous loopy but uh it's all going to get better great but i gotta tell you you told me i'd be able to jog you lied to me great <laughs> no i said you'd be <laughs> bionic man <laughs> hey look at it. as soon as this heals as soon as this heals up man i'm talking yeah, about when it when heals, it heals. Up. Right. I'm going to run right to Oregon. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you can't keep a freak, a good freak down for long. But I got to tell you, <laughs> man, I, I, I never had this in my life and where I can't do for myself. Ooh, it's really tough. But, uh, you know, I'll make it. But, you know, Gray, I am sort of uh, not on. Uh, uh, I'm trying to watch. But I can't, uh, I don't know, it's like I'm trying to uh, uh, keep my thoughts on what, what is going on. Nancy made me a sandwich, it rolled right off the plate. I'm dropping every damn thing. It's like everything I touch goes to hell. And uh, Well, because you're just, you're just really loopy. But it's probably, yeah, yeah, well, probably in about a week it takes, it'll f feel better, a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, when you showed that, picture of the girls and the, the the guy walking down the street and they it caught the um their audio and she was like she seemed a little upset with maddie for saying what did you tell adam and she said i told him everything so is that why they were so adamant when they got home to call jack uh, was something going on there? I don't, I don't know. I I really don't know. But I've been trying to follow. You. I'm probably not making any sense. But uh, I I uh, I've kind of been off with watching it a little bit because I either fall asleep when you're on or whatever. Mm -hmm. I try to. Is there anything more with the car, Gray? Um. Or no? Not really. Just kind of, mm. yeah, not really. I don't think so. Well, I still, I am still, uh, my, uh, what do you call it? My, the, anybody that doesn't know me is going to say this call or what is she, uh, uh, out, out, out of it or something, but you know me, Gray, you know I'm, what's going on. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, I think... Lillian had a hip I, replacement, everybody, just a couple days ago, yeah, and she's just... Yeah, uh, so that's yeah. why I'm I'm talking, like, uh, from outer space. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I, I have not ruled Jack out completely. I don't care. 
uh, what the cops say. I just don't. Yeah. Um, and if I'm wrong, I am so sorry for for saying that. I'd be so sorry, but I'm 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 not. I mean, this, this uh, first of all, yeah, he could have taken Kaylee out at any time, but we said it before, Gray. I think that he, it, he yeah. was so mad at all of them. Maybe they were trying to say, you know what, move on with your life. You right. don't need him. I mean, that's you exactly what. I, that's why I made the first video. You know, my my video. Yep. It's kind of just the same thing. I mean, he called. The, yep. The ten times, but or she, they called yep. him and he didn't answer, and maybe they thought, wow, he must be really upset about something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, but mm-hmm. we don't really know. But that's what it th- seemed like. And they had just broken up. They'd been together their whole lives, basically. I mean, since they were yeah. kids. Yeah, you know, it's sort of have. like it's like losing somebody that you really love, and they're moving on, and you feel sort of lost. And then you sort of wonder, you know, maybe you know, was he mad at the roommates for maybe getting and, him and her, to, her go, on to move yeah, on? Yeah, like to move on. You know right? what I mean? And he noticed that. And and you know. yeah. So I mean, uh, you know, you know yourself when when you're young like that and jealousy. Uh, boy, I'll tell you that that well, the girls are murdered every day because of of boyfriends uh, getting jealous and mad, and you're not leaving me. And, you know that old saying: "If I can't have you, nobody can." We know that, so it wouldn't be the first time, and it probably won't be the last time. But, Gray, I just wanted to touch base with you, all you freaks and everything, and thank you so much, everybody, for um, mm-hmm. all, all the well wishes. And uh, I hate being off my game where I can't, where I'm not right on it, but I'll get there. Uh, yeah. And that that's it for now. But there's something I wanted to tell you, and I can't remember it. But anyway, Gray... Uh, I'll talk to you soon, and uh, <laughs> okay. hang in there. Hey, but it's, it's great that you called in. See, you're doing well, man. You're, you're going to be, uh, yeah. like I Listen, said, you're going to be jogging you know, any time now, okay? Uh, I know it's hard to picture, but <laughs> it's, uh, it's going to happen. Yeah, gray, Gray, now listen. <laughs> I believe in you. Now you stop selling me wolf tickets. <laughs> No. You know I'm not going to be jogging, even if I, even once his hip is clear, that ain't okay, going to you're happen. Okay, you're going to be walking really fast. There you go. That's right. That's right. And all I'm going to say is, I've never been, I felt like I was treated like a queen. They treated me so good, Gray, from beginning to end. I couldn't have wanted anything better. They were absolutely wonderful. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it it was it was really uh, for having to be there. I I couldn't have asked for uh, better nurses and better better care. It was it was just absolutely wonderful. And I was just upset with myself because I got sick from the anesthesia. And uh, but they were don't worry about it. This happens. I felt like a fool, but you know it does happen. And so. But they were wonderful. So, look, I'm going to talk to you soon. And uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, giving me. I looked on there, and Nancy was showing me, look at all these comments. Look at all these comments. And it made, really made me feel so good. So I'll talk to you, Gray, all right? All right. Well, say hello to Nancy, Take- and uh, keep uh, keep us posted. Keep checking I, out. I will. Uh, she's running ragged, That poor my poor Nancy. She <laughs> She's taking good care of me you right. take care gray bye you freak bye bye see you later all right that was lillian sounds like she's almost back to normal <laughs> still sharp you know let's see isn't that isn't that don't you consider that passive aggressive a, a, a super chat like that you're rude but i usually agree with you and understand your frustration with people you are a genius with your work. <laughs> I'm mean, not so sure how to look at that. <laughs> but anyways, thanks, uh, Shirley. Shirley. I mean, uh, wow. I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, if you want to be a troll and send 50 bucks in, you go ahead. I think that'd be awesome. Go ahead, trolls. 
Thank you, Vale. I usually agree with you and understand your frustration with people. Well, if you understand it, then it's not rude. Your work. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you understand it, then it's not rude. It's just the way it is. You know, it's just I'm I'm real. That's that's where the difference. Lillian, is. sending healing vibes and love to you and Nancy. Heart. Where, we, where did face. I get an email? Heart. Somebody just sent me something. Okay. Nine four one. Nine four one. Yes. Hello, who's this? Yes. My name is Cheryl. Hello, I'm Cheryl. Florida. Your name is in Daryl or Carol or Okay, go ahead. No. I get all of that when I was a kid. You know yeah. how they make your name into everything, including yeah. the banana thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. What's going on? But anyway, I started thinking. I think things are starting to be put together, even by you, because if you go way back in the beginning. What do you mean, even by me? Talk, I'm I'm the one that would be so more likely to put it together. You don't want to follow it, okay? So I'm going to do a little bit of that for you. <laughs> yeah. But in the beginning, when all those people were talking, and I think before the FBI got them to really clamp down, you had the coroner, you had the district attorney, you had the cops, you had the people. They were all talking, and they were talking to Steve. They were talking to the families. Ethan's brother was there, so he was talking to the mom. I think they were all told something because Dana's dad came out and said, Zaina fought with all she had. Mm -hmm. So then you have the roommates who saw somebody on the second floor, and they've now said it was the victim she saw. So that tells me the original thing we heard about Ethan being in the hallway was probably true. Yeah, so what do you think of my, uh, my theory then? I think it's probably right on, and I'm going to tell you that from the beginning, I started thinking the father... If you look back, and I went back today, and you look, he never, ever says he doesn't think Jack didn't do it. The mother does. The daughter does. He rolls his eyes, and they're always telling him and looking at him funny. And even the wife says, don't say anything. And then he goes, well, I don't want to make suspects. And then there was something weird. I still swear to that on that stage. I know that look is apparent, and I'm telling you now. He grabbed his son, walked off like I'm with the son. You stay with him. And the mother walked over to intervent something because that's what I do when I don't mm -hmm. want my husband or someone to get into it, especially in public. And Jack has a smirk on his face. So you think he has a smirk? To the me, it just looks like he's just looking at him with his eyes open. They I... have two suspects, okay? Mm -hmm. Two suspects. And I think they're Jack S and Jack D. Because he, and I'll tell you why, he's had this tape for a while. And if you watch the tape, Jack has waited outside the club after he got kicked out to walk those girls. They well, you don't, you don't know that he waited. That, that, the video doesn't show that he waited outside well, the club. Well, I mean, they said he got kicked out. How did he end up with the girls walking back? Well, but, 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 but here's friends. the thing. Somebody said he was kicked out, but is that true? Like, how do we know that that's true? One of the news people recorded it early on, and I can go back and email. Mm -hmm. to okay, well, I, I doubt this. That's it. where I heard it first. I've heard watch that all before. those other channels. I don't have Facebook. I don't have Facebook Club. I mm -hmm. listen to only basically the news and you and a few people. So I don't have social media. I okay. watch you on my TV. Oh, good. And when I go back, I go back to news stuff. <laughs> so. You watch me on your TV, yeah? Huh? Jesus, man, I must be... Yeah, I do. I don't get the chat. That's the only thing I hate. But I was going to ask you today, my first question was going to be to you, how's Lillian? And she got on just before me. I well, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. I had two knee surgeries, so I was feeling for her. And I'm 65, so... Hey, I had <laughs> but, neck surgery um, while I was... I'm, I'm doing the show, and I was went to neck surgery... 
and they actually had a complication where it made, made my left arm almost like the tricep wasn't even working. I mean, it was the weirdest thing. It, like they squished. Apparently it was like, I was trying to, I have this really narrow opening for the nerve root that goes out uh, like at C7 or C6 or 7. So they went in yeah. and drilled from behind and then tried to scrape it out to make it a bigger hole. But apparently oh. it kind of squishes it down. Like, you know, if you took a piece of spaghetti, they explained it to me. Like if you got spaghetti and cooked it and then you squished it in the middle, how it would spread out, but it was still connected. So they did this yeah. other test where they could tell that everything was still connected. So it's just been taking a while to, um, you know, get things to work again. But uh, it's been a couple of years now. But I, I was doing my show the next day. You know, couldn't even use, move the arm, but there I am doing the show. Well, you know. I, I was telling you, I was a little loopy for seven to ten days. But I already felt better after the third day. My, my first and second day, I think I had blocks. So I didn't really feel anything. The third and fourth day were rough because the block tore off. Then after that, I felt better than I've ever felt in my knees. So, because yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. they were getting really bad. <laughs> but what I was saying is I noticed that Jaylee's dad never will say that Jack is not a suspect. And I've watched two or three of his early on. But I think because he had this video, that's why he thought that. And then why didn't the girls ride home with him if he was looking after him and they wanted him around, they could have rode home with him. He doesn't live far from there. Well, they just got a ride he share. Well, apparently he walked exactly home. Why. No, I heard, but well, I actually heard that maybe he walked home. And if, and and when he was there, well, there's just this other information. That's he was walking there. the wrong way to walk home because his home was in the same direction as theirs in another way. Yeah, I mean, apparently he lives right there, right? He right walked back to where the parking lot well that's what i said i mean uh, there's a parking lot there so i thought maybe right, he drove his, but, his house know. his house is by kaylee's house it's right near jack's house yeah it's right there yeah i mean there's a parking that's lot the there that's what i have in the original videos that he went back to the parking lot but let's i don't know i'm just gonna wait and see well, anyway that's all assumption but i think the dad got a lot of information i believe he got all that information about his daughter i think he has some guilt thinking that those people got killed because of his daughter that's another reason, I think, that it weighs heavy on him. Mm -hmm. Because he was led to believe she was a target. They did say, you know, Ethan, they, two of them had defensive. And Dana, you know, her dad said early on how she fought for her life. And then again, we heard how there was a heck of a fight going on down upstairs. And I still believe those roommates heard stuff. And the night of that body cam, that was Bethany standing at that door. I looked at it three or four times and compared it to the picture. Who said she didn't live there and yeah. made her call Maddie. And yeah. Maddie sounded pretty sober wherever she was. And she might have been in the house. Sober. As far as we know. She, looked, she could have been in the Kaylee house. Pretty, right? And Kaylee looked pretty sober that night. You know what I mean? That they were at the food truck. She I don't think ordering. she I don't think she seemed that sober. She just seemed less drunk than Well, less drunk. But I mean she was walking, she managed to pay because it shows a close-up of her pain and saying it mm -hmm. on the new video that's them talking. It says $10. It shows her touching her phone on there and paying the money, and you can hear the phone tap, and you can hear it go through, yeah. and you see her pushing all the buttons. So she was able to operate a phone. Yeah. Maddie was really out of it. But one thing that gets me, they could have gone with the guy, but they took a ride share. They didn't offer the guy to go with them in the ride share either if he was walking. So it's really weird to me how they're trying to say that was kind of a yeah. two-way thing. But here's the thing is, like, I mean, here's the thing. Do we really actually know all the stuff, like, where he lives and everything? You yeah. know, like, we all think we know, like, oh, because some YouTuber no, well, said that he um, lives at that house. Brian Enton showed his house a couple of times yeah. on Yeah, but, but on. Brian Enton's not <laughs> accurate all the time. i got to be honest with no, you. No, but he showed his house. He's the, the one that, he's the one that wanted to... He said he couldn't verify whether the arm coming out of the flower um, bed was Brian right, but the uh, Laundry's arm. That's pretty shitty. I mean, that's like that just shows you have a your brain isn't quite I geared. By, I don't go by. The, I went by the cops were there yeah. when he showed the house. Uh huh. That's all. The cops were there that day, and then shortly after that, they said he was cleared. But I think the father thinks because of this video and that. But the Jack D thing, 
Adam is the bartender. It shows Venmo payments, shows they shared stuff. At one time, they were roommates and they were close if they're sharing groceries. So the bartender is... Jack. Adam. Yeah, but and, and who does he know? He knows Jack, the ex-boyfriend of Jack Kayla? D. Jack D. Yes, Jack D and him are close. They were roommates at one time. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows if they're still roommates. Mm -hmm. But how do you know that's the same guy that's the bartender? Because they said it was the bartender. Well, who's they? You just said they said uh, One it. of the news reports, they said that he was the bartender. So they said that Jack D's... Uh, roommate. roommate. Don't, they won't <laughs> verify if it's still his roommate, but at one time he was his roommate. Huh. They can't verify if he's still his roommate. Yeah, so that makes... I mean, if that is true, then, you know, then again, there you got that and thing. What did you tell... Adam, I told him everything, and then it's like, oh shit. And then later they're checking in on Jack to see what he was told. Maybe. Exactly. Now that Maybe. fits. Why did they make the phone call? Maybe. Why were they worried? Why was Maddie? That's just a theory. We don't know, though. You know. But yeah, right. maybe. But Maddie was trying to call to make sure they weren't ignoring Kaylee's call. So that's what girls do. They have their friends off. So what do you what do you mean they're like this Venmo payment that you're talking about? Why why is there a Venmo that you can look at? I mean, is that just like every Venmo payment anybody gets, people can see out there? Yes, it does. What a you stupid. Didn't know that. Well, yeah, no, we yeah, saw that in the Debbie that. Collier case. You have to set it up, I think. Where, but what a yeah, dumb, uh, uh, what a stupid element. That's nobody's business. My grandson is the one who shows me that crap. That's why I don't have Venmo or Zelle. Because he has it. I'm like, God, I don't want people having my stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to do Venmo with you. You can see what everybody's doing. Yeah. Stupid. I mean, it's dumb It's dumb to even it's, have it as a feature. Crazy. What different? Why would anybody... Like, it shouldn't even be a feature whatsoever. Because it's just... What, what would be the reason you'd want somebody in the public to see that? It's almost... I have no idea why. I hope they... Is it a default private? It should be. <laughs> I have no idea, but I don't have one because I don't understand it, mm. okay? And since my son passed away, I removed my Facebook because I was emotionally distraught. I couldn't handle people talking to me because people say the dumbest things to you when your kid dies. And as a parent, it's hard to understand that So you're the parent of a son that dies. Right. And it was devastating to me because one son died and one had a heart attack planning the funeral and died. Wow. That's crazy. And my father was that. buried the Saturday before that. So I lost my dad, who got septic in a hospital, and lost my son and another son, all within 10 days. Jesus. It was earth-shattering to lose anybody. Wow. And you expect your parents, you know. My dad was older. He had fought cancer. I didn't want him to have septic and die all of a sudden, but it was my father who had been sick a few times. But to have all the other shit happen to you, and people say, oh, you can move on with your life oh, no, you no. over it. Oh, you shouldn't be emotional. Oh, I was mad at the cops. I screamed worse than Steve did. I was crazy. <laughs> I was just insane. Okay. And it yeah, was I don't, terrible. I don't blame. Like Steve is exactly how I would be. I, I don't. Well, really... because they tell you something and then they tell you they can't tell you anything else. You've already told me enough, and then you want to get information from me, and then you want me to shut down. And the thing is, I do understand in their case, they're trying to protect someone like Sharon did with uh, Scott Peterson. They want to try to protect the boyfriend and other people. Sometimes you just got to be open to its close friends. I mean, my son's close friends actually were involved, and I had to realize that. Mm -hmm. And it was scary, but yeah. I'm just saying to you, as a parent on the other side, you can't just give them a certain amount and then close up because yeah. it's just crazy. You don't understand why they can tell you all this horrible stuff and then they can't tell you anything else. Then they don't give you access to the bodies yet because the bodies are, right. what do you call it? Yeah, I, well, yeah, I mean, I, like I've said before, I think they terrible. just need to, I think they just need to be a lot more open with family members and, you know, kind of almost like they're working with them, you know, but anyways, I got to get these other calls, but I'm sorry. Anyway, you had I'm to, sorry. Sorry you had to go so through all that I'm stuff. Lillian's doing good, and you're doing a phenomenal job. And you don't have to show us nothing at the end of the year. You know, you do what you do. <laughs> Be proud of it. We know what you do. Yeah. And the other people are just like trolls anyway. So That's true. Yeah. Anyway, keep being who you are. Don't let them upset you. Don't let them get to you. Just be <laughs> okay. You. All right. <laughs>
Well, thanks. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sorry about your that you had to go through. All right. That's okay. All I'm right. just saying, yeah. you know, I, I'm getting there. It's been six years. Yeah. I could say it without crying. <laughs> yeah, okay. well, Bye. all right. All right, see you later. Bye -bye. All right, nine, nine, four, nine. We're involved. Hello. And I had to realize, and it was scary, but I'm just saying to you, as a parent on the Hello. other side. Hello, nine, four, nine. Close up, because it's just crazy. You don't understand why they could tell you all this horrible stuff. And They're that they far behind? Things. They don't give you access to the body yet. Let me try that again. 949, are you on now? You, gotta, you have to unmute yourself. Hello? 5, 4, 3, 2, forget it. Yeah. I'm going to try back in, that'd be great. Can't do that. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for that kind of stuff. <laughs> Gray, you're so rude. How dare you? <laughs> you should sit there for hours just trying to get the one collar on. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it, right? So, if you wanna waste that kind of time, you go ahead and do it. Yeah, I'm a, yeah, I'm a rude genius. Gray, you're rude as hell, and I hate your guts, but man, you're really smart, so here's 50 bucks. Well, thank you. Um, you know, I, I would, look, I tell you what, I, I will take a hundreds of trolls just like that. If you would all send in the exact same amount, you know, a dollar won't cut it. You can be a troll for 50, though. I mean, I, I'm totally more than willing to accept troll comments at 50 bucks. Wouldn't you guys do that? Sure, you can say what you want. What the hell is this? Dark side, APOC, whatever that means. It's called a love-hate relationship. Yeah, and they, and they spelled genius wrong. You know, there was this comedian, and he was funny. His name was uh, Floyd J. Uh, let's see. Lo uh, yeah, I think it was Floyd J. Phillips. You know what he would say? He'd say, my name is Floyd J. Phillips. The J stands for genius. I know. We can't all be one. That's how he would start his show. <laughs> the J stands for genius. Anyways, that was good stuff. Yeah, yeah that was a good opening line there. I didn't want to diss on the spelling of genius earlier, though, because... I just all right let me uh, I got an email I want to see if I can maybe play the audio or something from it Yeah, it was Shirley Sue. That's who sent that in. Hey, everybody. I hope. All right. I don't know whose YouTube channel this is. Uh, I can't. I'm not going to play it. Apparently, it's somebody. says, just in case you hadn't already seen it, something about leak from law enforcement. I don't know. I, it's some YouTube channel. I trust those about as much as, uh, yeah, I don't even know, zero. Uh, Ray, Ray, you're so mean, making fun of spelling after he paid you money. She paid you money. Well, wasn't it also mean to say, Gray, you're really rude, but here's, 
<laughs> yeah. Thanks, Wendy Jensen. Yeah. Well, I wasn't the one that brought it up. I noticed the bad spelling and didn't say a damn thing. It was somebody in chat that brought it up a minute ago. No, I didn't say I believe Adam. Who said I believe he's a killer? I never said Adam was a killer. Who said that? Gray, you believe Adam's the killer now? Um, no, I didn't say that whatsoever. I'm back. I had to go to the bathroom now. You know what? what you know what? Be in really interesting is what did Adam? What was he talked about? What what, what was he told by Madison? That would explain it. If it was something just totally innocuous, it'd be great to know. But isn't it just, a, isn't this case just filled with like that short video? That's what it is, right? Like <laughs> the whole case is filled with these little innuendo facts. What if it means nothing at all that the comment about, what'd you tell Adam? But here's the weird part. There's this one video. And the only audio you can hear is that one part. And so we're sitting there going, oh my God, what'd you tell Adam? I told him everything. I mean, it sounds like you told him everything, stuff that people didn't want him to know. And how did they, how was it in that one little segment of video? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. It's just. Thank you very much. Now, what did it say? I'm, I prefer my geniuses to be rude. Well, oh, thanks. I'll try to be rude more often if you're considering me a genius. I mean, there's so many little things like that, right, Billy? Juliana, the mayor? Little things like a little piece of fact that you hear, but it uh, what does it really mean? And then it gets changed. Have you ever seen anything like this? It sort of sounded like that, but hers. Yeah. I mean, we could play it again. In honor Let me of find Lillian it. and Caller, who lost her sons and dad, folded hands, folded hands, folded hands for both. That's Kaylee. And see, look at Madison and this guy are goofing around back there, right? Like, look at the very beginning of this. Like, she's kind of leaning against him, nudging him and stuff. Yeah, but here's the thing. Yeah, that's so funny because that's exactly what Madison's voice sounds like in the charades video when she's walking up the stairs and said oh this room smells like you know whatever she says that's exactly you can easily tell that's her she's kind of got a deep voice really. Now, now you might look at that and go, whoa, no, um, who, who said what's rude, who, he ditched me because, I don't even know what that means, anyways, uh, right there, she does sound like, what do you tell to Adam, but you know when you're drunk, you talk loud, but two minutes later, when they're at the grub truck, does it look like she was really upset about anything, they're just sitting there, goofing around, laughing, taking videos and pictures, uh, this video is like two minutes before Grub Truck, Kubi. We, we went over that at the beginning. Um, so the same night, uh, the 13th, prob this is probably at 1.25, I would, I would say, in the evening. So 
They were over here until one, th nah, a little bit later than what I just said. So this is 1.30, they're here. So I'd imagine this is probably like 1.30, you know, like, I mean, I won't even put a time there. Probably like 1.33 or something. And then they get to the grub truck that's right here at 1.41. So, you know, they're just walking down this side of the road. And then I can almost bet you money that they walked all the way down this side of the road and then cut across the street. And that's how they show up on the side of the grub truck there. It's not at the parking lot. So they walked down in the middle of the street here without a crosswalk. They just crossed and then went behind the grub truck right there. And that's it. So they're really happy and having fun right there. But obviously, you know, they're drunk, so maybe it was like, for a moment there, Kaylee remembered, God, what did you tell Adam? You told Adam too much, man. She's, he's friends with, uh, with Jack, right? So, there you go. I told him everything. At least she said, I told him everything, but what is that really? <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, everything. What what was there to tell? I don't know. I don't know what that means. And maybe, is Adam somebody that Kaylee was sort of interested in? Wouldn't that be crazy? You know? And hmm. Cynthia Sanchez. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. I can hear it, but you can't really make out what he's saying. I mean, we could try it if you got, you know, if you want to. Um... Yeah, let me let me try to do something with that. Okay, hold on. It might take a second now. If it crashes, just come, just wait around. Because I have to open up Adobe Premiere really quick. And that usually sometimes causes problems. There's some kind of graphic. It just sucks a lot of time. All right, so I'm going to open up this file here. I'm just going to export the audio itself. See what happens. And it's too quiet now, so I'm going to need to pull up the... Some music. Ah, oh, what the hell is going on? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's uh, not in here. Hmm, weird. All right, I'm just gonna import the video that we just did, showed anyways. Into, let's see. In here. That's the one. All right, and then I'm gonna export the audio. Don't crash. Okay, there we go. Get out of there quick. 
Ah, ok. It's a little clear. It's almost like a where did you something or other in there. You hear that? Like I can kind of hear it. Hold on. Let me try it one more time. Oh, it's that stupid. Did you guys hear that? Sir. Let me make that louder. At a hut. Let's try it. Oh, see, he says something about me. He does say something about Maddie. Hold on. Let me try this again. That was, I could definitely make something out in that one. Gray, can I send you a link that shows a video with Adam's white car and where he now lives? No, I already know where, he, where that is. No, you can't. But thank you. We've already shown that a hundred times. I just don't know a hundred percent. Like people say that he lives in the house that you can see the house at one one two two easily, you know, and he might live there. But that's also where Jack, the ex-boyfriend, lives, right? Let's see. I think I did the wrong thing on this. Okay.
what that sounds like something about Maddie, right? What do you guys, what do you think? Where do you get those? Or <laughs> like, where do you get those, Maddie? And then he says, like, what the hell or something in there. I don't know. It's so far away. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of loses everything after a while. So right here. Are you guys getting bored stiff having me do this? Welcome, Joey. No, it doesn't say that case set. Do tours? What are you talking about? I'm not sure she even says Maddie. I don't hear the M part of it. I don't know. Jeez. Let me just amplify it here. Try it again. I think it says, Do you have a blender at your house in your caddy? <laughs> yeah. All right, I heard it. I mean, I hear Addy, but it's weird how you don't really hear the M. It's almost like Caddy. Like there's no M sound in there. So now I'm going to try to remove like this sound. The so you copy it into memory. Then you do the whole thing. And then do uh, noise removal, noise reduction. I've already got it. What happens if I go like that? Well, that one, uh, you know, that's clear sounding, isn't it? You know, he's probably really drunk and he's like, and we're trying to analyze what he's saying. You know, see, doesn't it sound like caddy? Like, like, I can't hear the M sound. Can you guys? <laughs> the electric slide, Maddie. Jeez. <laughs> Sounds like it says where. <laughs> yeah, I thought it said the same thing. Where did you get those, Maddie? But I don't even think it says caddy. <laughs> it doesn't. That's not, it's not really how you say that, though. You wouldn't say. Uh, where did you get those with that tone? It just doesn't make any sense. Where are the discounts, Maddie? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me look at. Let me check that out. Let's see. We'll listen to it again. Where are the discounts, Maddie? <laughs> nah, but it's good. But if you want to go, where are the discounts, Maddie? Like people don't say that, so there's something we're missing here. 
And it says like Caddy. You know? Maybe she's trying he went to say Kaylee but said Maddie. You know what I mean? Like he was gonna say Kaylee, but then he remembered it was Maddie and then just said Caddy. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, that is possible when you're drinking, right? Like the he's about to say Maddie, but then he he's about to say Kaylee, but then he says Caddy. You know, like here, let me listen to that again. Yeah, right. Where'd the discs go? Let's see. I don't know, what, but does that make any sense? Where did the discs go? Nah, he doesn't say we're going to get ditch those Addy. I can tell you that. truck app she tried to use at the window yeah i know what you're saying but that doesn't make sense i mean the way he's saying it doesn't sound like that thank you though yeah i, I understand what the discounts would be for and everything but. where are the discounts cat that you know it doesn't sound like he would say it like that you mean that last part where he says caddy sounds really clear. Right? I mean, right here, listen. And then he's like, what the hell is... Yeah, I don't know, man. We could spend all night listening to that. I mean, you could be right. I don't know. I don't think it says where are the discounts, though. Uh, just sort of the way the tone is. I mean, listen to the overall tone of that. Um, where do you get your dogs clean? What the hell? Clears my. Where do you get the dogs? <laughs> where do you get your? Where do you get your dogs clean, Maddie? Here, let's do it again. Let's do it. Again. Wow, that's awesome. Hmm. And then right after that, what did you tell Adam? Yeah, but uh, Jennifer, like when you're listening to it, just listen to it and then try to think in your own ma mind, would you say, where are the dis... Wouldn't you just say, where are the discounts, Maddie? Like that. Well, maybe it says were. God, what a, you know, I can't stand shit like that. It sounds like it says something. Hopefully somebody can come up with one that's... Uh, I don't think the hoodie guy's involved at all at this point. But yeah, um, yeah I, can, I can do a poll if you want. What's going on? I can't clear my... What was the poll question? You want to know if who was Jack the... The hoodie guy. Okay. All right, there you go. 
703, you're on. Hey, Gray. First time, long time. What's going on? Who is it? <laughs> uh, it's uh, Bill from the tri -Lam house. Uh, actually, you actually tri -Lam? Used to call me the Grizzly because I'm a... <laughs> I'm a hairy guy, got a beard. Do you remember me from the tri Lamb house? Huh? No, I don't remember. I don't know what that oh, means. I... Oh, the tri Lambs. Oh, yeah, with Lambda, Lambda, Lambda. I remember that with the Lambda, 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 and, and um, that was Revenge of the Nerds. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. That's the interface. I'm using 3D Studio Max, not Blender. I do have Blender because oh it's gosh, free. Oh my you still use? <laughs> oh. Yeah, 3D oh, Studio Max old. is better okay. than um, Blender, but yeah. You know. Blender does a lot of oh, stuff for free, yeah. but 3D Studio Max, I have to pay 1500 a year to, to have it. You don't do, you, you do that professionally, right? Huh? Well, I just, I, well, I do, I, I have done it. I did a case where, uh, well, two, two or three, two cases for a New York uh, prosecutor. I did an elevator case and another one where a guy was putting um, something on the roof of the, of a building and he kept walking backwards and that little net that you're supposed to put around, he, it wasn't there and he fell all the way off and died hitting the ground. But they never, that one never made it to court, but I made the animation for it. And then I've done it for a few different private investigators, but I just use it for myself now on my show. So it's part of my, the cost of doing what I do. Blender's pretty good though. You know, I'm, I, I keep trying to learn it. There's also another one out there that I'm trying to learn called, um, I'm thinking of switching over to it. It's um, like real, Illusion, oh, hell no, I can't remember. It's got like version eights out and it has really good for people and animating their walks and things like that. Anything else? I enjoy watching you fuck. Uh-huh, yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm just, this guy is just one step away from being a troll. I, I'm not going to talk to this guy. Idiot. All right. Uh, let's see. He was probably shocked that I was just trying to have a regular conversation with him. He was going to wait to just bust out something. <clears throat> it's crazy. Now, I don't know who that person is. I, I mean, I, I like uh, Giselle, Gisella, you know, like, like she's a cool person, you know, so, uh, you know, we just, we just have differences on, I mean, her, her and I emailed, we had a long email exchange the other day, and it was, you know, she's really, kind of, I think a lot of you guys would be like, wow, you know, she's, um, you know, she's gone through a lot of stuff in her life and really, you know, is trying to make a go at it on YouTube and she's doing well, you know, and we have a different philosophy, you know, in terms of the whole trigger warnings and things like that. But when she explained it to me, it made sense. So, you know, I, you know, probably shouldn't be bitching and moaning about how somebody else does their show anyways uh, on that aspect of it. I really, I don't, care if people criticize when people put out bullshit information but like I shouldn't really care how somebody wants to run their show in terms of like how to um, you know trigger warnings whatever the hell you want to call them that kind of thing that's that's their own shit but if you put out bogus information then I'm going to say something all right so there you go let's see Yeah, she's she's cool. I don't have anything, you know. I don't have anything against her at all, really. I mean, I, it's just there was just the whole trigger warning stuff, 
And I thought one time she was kind of, you know, when she said, I use trigger warnings because I'm a, a compassionate person and almost implying, like, that's what it felt like, but it, that's not what she was doing. Like, she was implying, I thought she was implying that the rest of us who don't do that aren't, but uh, that was just me not understanding what the hell was going on. So, no big deal, no big deal. Uh, who are you talking about, Nina? Why are, why are you dissing me or ditching me, Krabby? Who are you? Never heard of you in my life. Uh, put down the sauce, okay? I listen... Uh, yeah, we have a totally different style, you know. Like I'm more like analyzing what's going on, trying to figure out what is actually happening. I don't really... I'm not really a reporter type where I just sit there and like I put out like what about this what about this and uh, you guys decide I like to try to figure it out myself so yeah she's guessing at the audio <laughs> what are you talking about what who, who why are you dissing me or ditching me crabby okay let's listen to that again no no Now I'm starting to hear the discounts. <laughs> I'm hearing the discounts now. Okay, hold on. Definitely. I think he's saying caddy, but probably meant to say Maddie, but Kaylee's there too, right? So let's just pretend that he's saying Maddie. What are we looking? Oh, you can't hear it. Oh, sorry, I blocked the uh, the last caller. So. So this one, hold on. I can probably really clear up what Maddie says. To just grab that little right there. Then highlight that whole area. Effects, noise re reduction, boom. Oh crap, I got rid of everything. I think I need to, oops, shit. I think I need to make this louder first so it has something. Yeah, we, we know that part. We know that part, Jimmy. Uh, you're not sleuthing anybody. We've already figured that out earlier. Great, thank you. I, I told, I told you that you resemble Bruce Arians. Aliens? Oh, I sound like an alien? Wow. Oh, do you hear the birds in the back? No, that was because there was audio uh, distortion on there that I created. Uh, we're out of discounts now.
It says like where, you know, where or something like that. We're out of discounts. Maybe. <laughs> We're out of discounts. Okay, good, right? There, grab that whole section. Then highlight the whole thing again. And then it uses that and tries to subtract out the ch which is actually the car driving. All right, so now let's see if it's any better. So now I'll just make that part louder. All right, here we go. And then it seems like it says, what the hell, at the end there. Where are the discos, Maddie? <laughs> Yay, this is awesome. I think, let's just listen one more time, everybody. Hold on. Doing a little buddy, skip by. <laughs> Gilligan, little buddy. Yeah, you can all hear that, right? <laughs> Remember when Gilligan would hit the skipper in the gut and, and Skipper would go, doop, like that? I think that's what we're listening to here. Yeah. She sounds so little, like a little kid saying that. But I think it's because they're all sort of drunk, you know? There you go. Yeah, yeah it's really easy to hear both of those comments. How about where did the something go? No, no, no. You know, and all this, you could have been like, where did this happen? And we're like trying to figure out what he's saying when you wouldn't even have understood what he said if you were standing there. Oh, I'm going to get another rink tonight. And we're trying to figure out, oh, he's going to go to a skating rink? No, he was saying drink, but he put a D in there. You forgot the D, he says a rink. I'm going to get a rink a little later. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Come on. It's ridiculous. <laughs> you the guy wanted to do. Yeah. Let's see. Where'd the kitten go, Sally? I mean, Mommy? Oh, shit, I can't even. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. I think we recorded myself. Here, let's. Anyways, I think we have the best recording of it, but somebody out there might be able to piece that together. He says something, but it probably means nothing, right? Like, it, they're just, I don't think that guy has anything to do with anything uh, at this point. He just looks like he's like a friend hanging out, was walking him home, you know, or whatever, and then they got a ride with somebody else, so he got a ride. I mean, they got it. They just probably were like, gonna use their rideshare thing and go home. And then he was like, "Oh shit," you know. And then he got. Oh, it was not a rideshare. I think it was a service at the uh, on campus to drive people home from bars. Oh. 
Yeah, he definitely says something. You got that right. Hey, Mary Lou, what do you think he says? I don't know. Gray says, Well, there you go, Granny. Wow, you nailed it. But what did you actually say? I didn't. I mumbled through. That's what I thought you did. Sort of similar to in um, the Army of Darkness when Kalatu Baratu. <laughs> You guys got to go see that one. If you haven't seen Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2, man, you've really missed out. I can tell you. It's uh, funny shit. There's nothing, there's nothing scary about it at all. It's, yeah, so there was an Evil Dead. No, actually, Evil Dead 2 and then Army of Darkness. Evil Dead was so bad that they thought, let's just make this into a spoof. Because it was so cliche that they, then they thought, let's just make another one. Thank you, Colleen Daily Page. Oh, that's what it says? He's just a guy with a hoodie? Hold on. That's a hoodie. See, so the way... Here, let me show you. This is how EVP worked, though. Listen, listen. Don't go. What? Or hear that part? It's like, where did you get? Where did you get? You hear that? Where'd you get those caddy? He must be a golfer. <laughs> Good job. Uh, where'd you get the caddy? <laughs> Where did you get those caddy? Oh, that's right. Maybe she is a caddy on the weekends at a golf course and he's trying. I don't know. Is food truck video why was hoodie guy hanging in background not ordering something because he didn't have any money apparently he didn't want to pay for it either that's what i heard i heard that he was he's a guy and felt thought that he'd be obligated to pay but he didn't have any money so he he hung back in the background to me the guy just seems like a normal dude uh, absolutely at the beginning he seemed kind of weird because he was you know, some guy almost like a stalker-ish. But then when you really kind of start looking at it over time, he doesn't feel like that way to me. I know that there's been a lot of videos out there that have turned him into um, Dexter, you know, but um, I don't I don't see it, okay? Could be wrong, but uh, I don't see it. Yeah, let's see. Uh, he wanted a discount at the food truck. Well, that's what, what's her, uh, what, uh, I forgot her name up above. Who said that earlier? About the, uh, you still there? No, you said it was a discount. It's just the way he's saying discount doesn't make sense to me, but I understand what you're saying. Where are the discounts, Caddy? Where are the discounts, Caddy? I mean, it's sort of weird. Wouldn't you say discounts? Kind of quick like that don't eat the soap Maddie there you go hoodie guy has nothing to do with it right I agree PS yeah there's guys like that the the bottom feeders well at least they were smart enough not to say oh your eyes look like a lizard right like uh, uh, you know I think even somebody wasted if you told them their eyes look like a lizard they well first of all they probably punch you in the face um yeah, but those, those guys are kind of sick, to be honest with you. They just sort of wait around for that really drunk person and then sort of move in. It just, yeah. Maybe they were talking about food truck. Yeah, we've already, people have already said that like 19 times. But I don't hear the word discounts in there. I mean, it does say discount. I mean, maybe it says discounts, but where are the discounts? Let me listen to it again. God. Yeah, and then it says Caddy, but maybe he's trying to say Maddie, but it said Kaylee and Maddie combined. Where are the discounts, Caddy? I mean, Maddie. Kay I mean, Kaylee. Right, like something like that. 
This counts. What? What does this counts mean? Uh, I think it's more discounts than this counts. I just can't. The, the inflection doesn't make sense for me, though. Welcome, Rhonda. How are we doing tonight on uh, memberships? Are we... Hey, we're at th uh, 96, 319. Not too bad. If you guys would hit that subscribe button for me, that'd be fantastic. And don't forget to hit that like button. Something so simple to do. We only have 600 and something likes with 1,500 people watching. So now, unfortunately, we have to play the auctioneer sound to get that moving. Hit the like button, hit the like button, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, hit that like button, 45, 50, hit that like button, it's the easiest damn thing in the world. You just put your finger on it and press it, it's the simplest thing in the world, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, hey, hit that like button. All right, one more time. Hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, hit that like button, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, my favorite Grady Judd line is this one, though. Right here, listen. There's mosquitoes the size of bald eagles in that dead gum swamp. I mean, those are big mosquitoes. <laughs> I mean, imagine having a mosquito the size of bald eagles in that dead gum swamp. All right, uh, let's get this back open again. So the theory that I'm talking about today is it's possible the killer actually went through the front door and maybe one of the roommates saw him we don't really know but he comes upstairs and um, Ethan is just leaving the room because he's gonna go home now and she says goodnight to him at this door because that's a door that uh, she can lock apparently and he opens the door and before she even locks it this guy who was coming up saw him and attacked him and then attacked her and she probably retreated onto the bed and she was killed right over here and that's why we see blood coming out of the side of the building right there then the killer makes his way where Ethan's on the ground right here makes his way up the stairs checks in this room Kaylee's room doesn't find doesn't see Kaylee there so then takes off and then heads down to Madison's room where he finds both of them sleeping and then kills Madison first and then takes out his rage on Kaylee because that's the actual reason he was going there, but he had to kill all those people because they saw him. And that sort of adds to the theory that I had from the beginning where the reason the four people were killed, they were all people who saw him and something happened later. I don't know if the killer ever would have killed anybody on the first floor because they didn't witness anything. I don't think that it was because they locked their doors. I think it was because they didn't see anybody. All right, so there we go. Uh, the four that were killed were people who knew who he was and saw him there that night, and he knew that they had seen him there that night. He was on a mission to kill one of those people, and he was so enraged, and he killed those four. No, nobody was going to stop him. He killed those other ones because he knows that he was going to kill his goal and he didn't want any witnesses. And he also hated them, too, for other reasons. Po po uh, possibly, uh, they, he was killed them because he blames them. You know, but for those roommates, I would have been able to have this girl. They're the ones that convinced her not to like me. And that, that theory actually fits in to... <laughs> Some of the people we've already talked about before. Interestingly. Uh, was down... I don't know. Does that matter, Alina? How could Kaylee watch Maddie getting killed and not do anything? Uh, well, because she was asleep, Mary? Um, hello? Whew. You're going to ditch me, Caddy? <laughs> All right, let's play it. Yes. <laughs> 
Now there's something like like this part here that does or something. This one. Like what's that word? Tried it again. We're gonna get you those, Addy. What? <laughs> no, no. No. No, it doesn't say me. The word me isn't in there. It sounds like you can't deny it. What? You can't deny it. Oh, yeah, it does say that. Did you hear that? You can't deny it. You can't deny it. You can't deny it. You can get a deny it. Did you guys hear that? It was really... You're going to his place, Maddie? Let's see. No, it doesn't say that. No, it doesn't say we're going to Nick's house, Maddie. It says we're gonna... It says like we're gonna. Can you hear the we're gonna at the beginning? Listen. We're gonna, like right here, like we're gonna, like we're gonna, right here. Oh, we're gonna ditch those. That makes more sense. We're gonna ditch those. Hey, okay, come on, we're on to something now. We're gonna ditch those something or other. No, that makes more sense. We're gonna ditch those, hold on. <laughs> oh man, it's driving me nuts, man. I think it does say we're gonna something now. Now it doesn't say Jake's house. It doesn't say Jake's house. I know you want it to say that, but it doesn't say it. Uh, wanting something to be true doesn't make it so, okay? Uh, Tyrion Lannister, Game of Thrones. Yeah, let's see. We are speaking at the same time right when he started to Maddie. What? I, we're hitting discos? No. Doesn't say that. We're gonna. You don't, do, okay, does everybody agree that it says we're gonna. We're gonna. Okay, well, listen. Like right there. We're gonna. We're gonna. You know how people say that? We're gonna. Like that. Doesn't most people think that it says we're gonna? Now figure it out what it says after that. We're, so then after it says we're gonna, then right here it says. Right, let me get this phone call. Uh, 216. You're on. Hello. 216. Hello. 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 <laughs> no, it doesn't say dope, Lisa. That's something that sounds like Addy. Oh, Adderall. We're going to get some, get those Addy. Hello. 216. First time, long time. Ray, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. What's good, going on? good. Okay. Uh, I've been following this case from the beginning. Very confusing. And uh, I have also not ruled out 
the ex-boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And uh, the thing that gets me is we have four young people that were unalived, and uh, <laughs> there are no signs of SA, as far as I can tell. Oh, yeah? So that tells me that maybe that the perpetrator had already... Maybe maybe SA was... Not- well, here's the thing. You can say those words on my show. You can say them on my show because my, uh, my live streams are never monetized. So you can go ahead and say murdered or um, sexual assault, that kind of thing. All right? Okay, all right. No, I don't. I got I to gotta get rid of it. I knew this guy was a... I could tell that person was going to be a troll. All right, let's do 585. You're on. Hey, not too bad. Go ahead. Made the biggest mistake of my life today by going on the 4chan channel for the first oh, time. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. And I regret that. How do you even get it? You know what? I went over there. It's hard to even use. You go over there and you're not sure. There's no search button or... It's just well, kind of... my a... friend sent me the link and yeah. I clicked on it and it was the biggest mistake of my life. How that come? place is where your soul goes to die. No, really? What made you... What, what, soul... what made it a, your worst mistake of your life? What happened? Well, just the way that people were talking about these girls were so fucking disgusting. I cannot believe. I cannot believe. Wouldn't it be cool to have like an believe. instant button you could press to vaporize certain people? It's just sort of like... <sighs> I'm telling you, like that place, it has to be the hellhole of the internet. And yeah, it's, it's just like Reddit. Where Reddit's your soul the goes thing. to die. Yeah, Reddit is not that bad. Well, it's similar. It's got they the same people. Yeah, but they can't post pictures that they're posting on there and... Oh my God, the way they're talking about them is uh, yeah. is so disturbing. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You anyway, had so I was, so that was just broke my heart to see how people can talk about dead people like that. And oh God, it was so disgusting. I like five minutes in, five minutes out. I'm like, okay, never again. I, I told, told my friend, you. don't. I don't. I said that. Never don't, again. Don't I told my friend. You, <laughs> Yeah. Like that, like you're gonna rot your soul if you keep going on that day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's, just, um, it's well, it's made up of the depraved, uh, the rejects from society, find a place there. That's that's the well, way it works. You know. The reason why my friend sent me the link in the first place is because she she figured that a lot of the frat boys get on there and they just anonymously say the most disgusting shit about Maddie and Kaylee, especially Kaylee. Especially Kaylee. She's huh? being crucified well, you on seem that like, You seem like you're really um, emotionally, like, a, are you attached? No, to not emotional. It was, no, it was just, no, because it was just, just so disturbing. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it did shock me, though. It did make me emotional. It did shock me, but not in a crying way, but just in a, damn, I'm sad that this is the world we live in. That yes, people get yeah. under and talk about people like that. But yeah, my friend said a lot of these frat boys get under anonymously and they leave and say the most nastiest things about, especially Kaylee. I understand why people say Kaylee was a target because if, if you go on these websites and see how these guys talk about her, oh. Yeah, well, so she, uh, well the only reason I think she's a target is because her dad said she was. That's why I think that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, I remember in the beginning you were thinking that your best bet was maybe the ex, her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend, but I, I, I see that you have kind of moved on from that. Well, I mean, I still don't. I'm not like, you know, he's still, you know, like every time I go over the case, he fits right into the, like the boxes, but they've ruled him out, so mm-hmm. they must know more about him than we do, but, you know, I wouldn't be shocked whatsoever if he popped yeah, back into the picture. Either. That's all I'm saying, but I'm not going mm-hmm. to sit there and keep you know make video after video after video after video. Yeah. As soon as well, as soon mm-hmm. as they said, they they almost went out of their way doing gymnastics yes. to not the, rule him out, and then one day they said, at this time we don't think he's involved. That after like a week after they'd already ruled out all these other people, they took their time ruling out the guy that was on the phone calls with, and they still don't have haven't mentioned his name. 
They just say, we've ruled out the individual, not ruled out. We At this time, we don't consider the person that Kaylee and Madison called to be involved. So that would be him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they haven't, they never say any names for some reason. They just say this person was cleared or there's, there's a chance you might go back and interview them, but for now, get off their case or whatever. But no, I think the, Katie's mom kind of made, made a big statement by hugging him on stage at mm -hmm. the life celebration from everybody. And I know a mother's intuition is always, most of the time is, you know, a mother knows. So well, I think they, she, Well, the mother knows she, about her, her own heart. daughter, but yeah, I don't know about, like you yeah. know about him. There's many times where yeah. killers um, been in the search parties and hugged the family and and blended right in with them and they just thought he was so great and it turns out they're the killer that's happened many 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 times like like a lot mm -hmm, like that guy that killed his pregnant wife i forgot his name uh, scott peterson or something like that well yeah, yeah that's his name yeah. mm -hmm. there's many, many right, worse just wanna... than that but... i'm sorry go ahead uh, nothing i didn't have anything to say go ahead uh, one last, yeah, one last thing. I was just going to say one last thing about um, her boyfriend is that from what I understand, her mom said during the interview that she called him five times from her phone and then Six called times. him from Maddie's phone, which is so normal for me. I did the same thing when my boyfriend never answered. I used my cousin's phone. I'm like, okay, I'm going to blow, blow your phone up 50 times to your answer. That's how I was when I was young. So I, I don't right. see anything but abnormal you, but, about that. But then you have somebody else call, right? To, to make to see if yeah, and then she used Maddie's phone to call. Well, like, okay, well, I don't you know, know if she don't used Maddie's. My phone. She could have been the one that used Maddie's phone, but it could have actually been Maddie well, I figured, herself. But I figured they're laying in bed together and just you know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then the mom said specifically in that interview that, and there was also a text from Kaylee, and then the interview guy asked her what was the text about, and she said it was just you know saying like, "Come on, Jack, like reach to, reach out to me. We have a dog together." Wait, what did you say? Come on where, over. Wait, what did you? Where, where did you get that? This is the first interview that the family all did together on a couch with Brian Anton. Yeah. And they were talking about how many times uh, Maddie, uh, uh, Kaylee called Jack that night. And they went into detail, and the mom said that what the text was basically her saying, "Come over, Jack. We oh, talked so, to me. We have oh, a dog together." Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I heard the same thing about the dog. So you're so, saying that I they, mean, but was it so? There was text messages and phone calls, or was there voice well, that's messages? What, that's what the mom said. That's what the mom specifically said. I'm only I haven't read from anything from Reddit. I, this is from the horse's mouth that. Mm -hmm. Kaylee told him, come on, Jack, come over. We have a dog together. You need to reach out to me. And that he never texts her back. And then, um, so I was thinking, like, if this guy did text her back and decided to go over there, we could have had five victims, you know, instead yeah. of four. So maybe yeah, he yeah. saved he, his own life. He might have saved his life, but I'm sure he there. would feel guilty about it. Hey, you're, oh, I, I, sure. I, was just, I, I was just wondering something. So your voice sounds like you're just on the verge of crying, but that's just how your voice sounds, isn't it? No, no, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I was wondering that at the beginning, and then I thought, I've talked to you before, right? You've called him before, right? Yeah, I called. This is, I think, my fifth time calling. Yeah, and then I was thinking, like, you sounded like you were going to cry at those times. But that's not, no, that's just the no, way your voice I mean, sounds. My voice probably so. was a little, yeah, my voice probably was a little shaky in the beginning because I was so disturbed by what I saw. But, yeah. no, I'm not going to cry over it. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that that was just my two cents. I was just thinking, like, wow, if this boy actually replied to her text, I went, and he was right around the corner, you know. Mm -hmm. But I personally don't believe that he's just, he, he he has anything to do with it. Yeah. I, I don't think anybody that was in their circle had anything to do with this. I think it might have be somebody yeah. that's like on right on the edge of their circle or. You know, it's either it's either somebody right in their circle or somebody that is been around. They know who the person is, but they never really thought he was. He was just kind of weird, you know, like a little different, but not that weird where they were freaked out about him or anything. But it was somebody that's always been sort of obsessed. And then, but I don't know. I don't. I, it just. I think it's definitely somebody that they know because there wouldn't be a reason to kill all those other people unless you were literally a serial killer. That was just going in there to kill people. Uh, it seems like they were mm -hmm. killed because they were they knew who he was and they saw him, and he, he couldn't let everybody live because he wanted to kill the one person, but all three of the other people 
two, I think Kaylee, I, I, Zayna and Ethan are probably the, the very just incredibly unfortunate timing where Madison was likely going to be up there with Kaylee, but even her is a little, like they probably weren't normally in the same room. And so it's probably just like, man, those three were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And maybe Steve yeah. Gonzalez actually, you know, has a little guilt feeling um, like because his daughter is the one who was the focus and three other people got killed because of that. And that's probably why he's out there really trying to push for answers because he's feeling like, I mean, he doesn't, there's no reason he should feel guilty, but I could see thinking that way. Oh, it's it's not his 20. fault that somebody, you know, like it's not mm -hmm. it's not even Kaylee's fault that somebody killed her. Uh, there's just psychos out there. No, of course not. No, and these parents, they, they almost can't do nothing wrong in my eyes because they're losing their minds. Mm -hmm. They're losing their sleep, they're losing their minds, and I can just imagine. Right. I, I can't even imagine what it's like. Right. So I, they can't do anything wrong in my eyes unless they... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that's about it. But yeah, I agree with you that. Uh, why are people typing in? You are this close, Maddie. What? What's the deal here? Who's typing in? Why are two people typing in? You are this close, Maddie. Are you saying that's what it says on here? Let me, hold on. No, it doesn't say you're this close. Jesus, you guys. That's ridiculous. All right. Anyways. Um. I, when, when you just played it a couple of minutes ago, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just hearing now because I'm just losing my mind, but I, I could have sworn I heard you're going to ditch those, see you next Tuesday. Is that what I, or maybe that's just what I'm hearing. I think it says we're going to, I think it definitely says ditch those, we're going to. See you next Tuesday, no? <laughs> no, I just, I just, I think it says we're going to. Dish those I don't something. even know. Yeah, it almost does sound like it says we're going to ditch those. Um, oh, here we go. We're going to ditch those discounts and get a caddy. And uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't figure it out. All right. Anyways, I'm going to get going. So All right. Thank you. All for, right. Thanks go, for calling. go ahead. Thank you for All listening right. to me. All right. You too. Hey, thanks for calling in. Bye bye. All right. No problem. Oh, shit. I thought she was done. Uh, we're gonna ditch. That's it. We're gonna ditch those, Maddie. But like Kaylee and Maddie combined, we're gonna ditch those. We're gonna ditch those. I don't know. I'm having a problem with the those part. It does sort of sound more like ow, like a count or something. He's asking a question. What? I don't. I don't hear a question tone there. Welcome, gorgeous girl. Your eyes look like a lizard. <laughs> And if you missed uh, the reference earlier, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to fix things, Adam. We're going to fix things? No, it doesn't say we're going to fix things. Ginger snaps. Ginger snaps. We're getting digged. Uh, <laughs> we're getting digged. We're getting digged, though, Maddie. What? What does that even mean? No, it doesn't say guys. Ah, 
Jesus, it drives me nuts. I hate when there's something that's so so easy to determine what they were saying, but he was really far away when he was talking. No, it doesn't say guys. Yeah, guys doesn't sound like caddies. Yeah, he's talking to them. They're just hanging out. They're, you know, I don't have any. Uh, here, look. Here's the video again. No, it doesn't say where the asshole is, Maddie. Okay. Anyways, that's I've had enough of this. It's too hard. Yeah. I know it says we're gonna, and then that's it. Or not, we're gonna. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna. Like right here it says we're gonna. Watch. I know that. That's the only thing that I really feel like I can tell what it says. And there's something that rhymes with Maddie, but has a K sound at the beginning. Now that's that's later, Jimmy. We already know that, Jimmy. You keep saying the same thing over and over and over again. No, it doesn't say we heard what you said. But anyways, thanks for all the guessing. We're getting ditched, though, Maddie. Let's see. Does that sound right? Yeah. It's like vowels. You know, it's kind of a weird sound in there. Like a... Hmm. It's probably nothing anyway. Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's the whole thing, right, Krista? It's probably... Absolutely nothing. I'd like some breaded milk, Connie. Oh, wow. You want some breaded milk? Okay. A little later. Breaded milk. Okay. Um, yeah, we already said that one. Hey, it's Patsy Klein, man. Where's the music? We're going to ditch those, Maddie. Yeah, that's what we said a minute ago. But something's missing from that. <laughs> Like, would you really say we're gonna ditch? We're gonna ditch those, Maddie. We're gonna ditch those, Maddie. People were wondering where you were, uh, Patsy Klein, yesterday. They, they thought you disappeared. All right. Anyways, guess what, everybody? I think I'm gonna. I think that's gonna do it for tonight's show. I'm sorry we spent so much time on. Wait, let's see. Is there anybody that called in? No, nobody's here. We're going to ditch those, Maddie. We're going to ditch those, Maddie. Guys, down the hill. Guys, down the hill. Guys, down the hill. Guys, down the hill. All right, so we have thanks, Christy Quasi. I don't, and then I'm gonna after the show, I'm gonna keep building on the, my new version of the model. I'm using this too to sort of get 
let's get some. I think this is pretty accurate based on some of the images. Make a sound bite. It's a white car. Of All right. All right. Thank you to Cheryl Bullock, Ria Mazarin, Maxine Van Dyke. Tracy, Philly Sport 820, Joel Spin, Mike S, Eugenie, not Corvalli, but Eugenie, WNC Granny, Purple Cottage Crafts, Sweet Tea, Alley K, PS with a double cat eye, Cali Gal 3, Cat Eye, Tracy Seamer, Dreaming of Blue Skies, can't read the rest, <laughs> Kells, Mary Crossley, Cat Eye, Renee Carr, Ali S, Jason Padula, Charlie Lynn, GGT, Jamie Edwards, Lanky Tor with a double cat eye, Michelle, C oh wait, Michelle Capoke, Paco, uh, <laughs> Michelle Capochino. Michelle Capochino. Did I say it right that time? Or is it Capochino? Michelle Capochino. All right, there we go. Michelle Capochino. Michelle Capochino. Michelle Capochino. I'm going to try to do it. Snail. Uh, Maley X Emily. Shan Dalton, True Crime Nut, uh, Shirley Sue 228, You're Rude, but I usually, this is a cat eye donation, but I usually agree with you and understand your frustration with people, you are a genius with your work, okay, anyway, hey, thank you, Vale, Ellie Cassie, LMM, Maley X Emily, Wendy Johnson, Brianna 25, Zach and Fox Nanny, Cynthia Sanchez, Rebecca N, Jennifer Lee, Jennifer Lee, Shanna 360, John S. Cunningham, and Colleen Daily Page, and Millie X. Emily. Hopefully I got everybody's name in here. Also, uh, we have, well, I gotta fix some stuff in here, so. All right, we've got uh, Jen Allison on PayPal. Tracy Quarino. Donnie Brock. And then Allison. I gotta, I gotta wait for the. Uh, I can't tell, say who that was though. Okay. But we've got to. Um, I didn't see the name. We've got to. Uh, I gotta get the notebooks shipped to me again. So might take it. I was trying to get some better ones. I don't know. And then being Nancy got that. And then Sarah Terry. Thank you.
right, so tonight I'm going to give out like a one big, you know, like the everything mug. But that's going to be it because I got to make up for last night. All right, so uh, let's see. It's going to be the everything mug. It's a black mug that has like every single emoji or little thing that was part of the case for a long time. Alright, here we go. Here we go, here comes the spin for the everything mug, everybody. Oh, look at that. Shirley Sue. <laughs> ah, the troll! I'm just kidding. The one that said, I'm really rude, but a genius. All right, there you go, Shirley Sue. You've won yourself a uh, everything mug. That's hilarious. What are the odds of that, huh? That's hilarious. You gotta admit. No, I didn't pick anybody. It just landed on that. <laughs> That's what the spin was. I don't pick anybody. She just ha had 10 different chances. So that made it easy. Yeah, maybe I am. I, maybe I can be rude sometimes. Sure. Da 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 da! All right, guys, uh, that is going to do it for the show tonight. I hope you found it interesting. I mean, I know we spent a little too much time trying to figure out what the hell that audio clip said. I think it says, you put too much pepperoni on my pizza, Maddie. Uh, but, you know, that's just me. Hopefully, they get some answers in this case. I'd like to get to the point where we get more information about what happened and really start getting to use the model to show, you know, try to f put together how things went down and just kind of the whole thing. I think it's more interesting. Yeah, Mary Lou sang both for both of them, Cindy. You got to be at the beginning of the show. Rewind it to the very beginning, Cindy. All right, so thank you guys very much for being here tonight. I uh, really appreciate it. And thank you for all the support. really helps out the channel and uh, looking to do big things at the end of the month with the, you know, I donate 50%, net, uh, over 50% of the net revenue from YouTube to charities, all right? <clears throat> so thank you guys very much for being here, and that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And maybe I'll put out another, some kind of a video or something tomorrow. I don't really know, but we'll see. Um, let me listen to that one more time before we leave. That's stupid. Yep. Still again, little man. Okay, bat shit. Okay, it said bat shit. Okay, we're all bat shit crazy. We heard that at the end. We're all bat shit crazy. We could all hear it. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And as I always say, until next time. Peace safe out there. And a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six. Good night, everybody. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That, what are you and saying? That we have, we're not at that I point yet. Seen one There's still a wrap. Oh, okay. That is a stone, Mary Lou? Crime this I did partake. Click reject. You partake. I'm a certified human you partake. lie detector. Gonna get ya on a stretcher. If you try and play me like an old projector. Crime sector. Is my nectar. Professor Grey is gonna give another lecture. Crime collector, freak connector. And I'm always gonna be a protector. Fool deflector, interceptor. And I'm eater that I speck him with a vector. On his pector, with all respect, y'all. Just remember, I've been tripping like a jet, I have no agenda. I'm no pretender. And I'll send it to me straight without the blender. And in the end, I'm gonna send ya. A mission can reveal a true offender.
Yeah, so I'll just get right back to work. All right, everybody. Talk to you. Well, thanks, Mary Lou, and thanks for all the happy birthday songs to Kubi and Zozo at the beginning of the show. You did absolutely fantastic, other than almost vomiting and barfing after smoking the hardcore cigarettes that you were smoking. Uh, other than that, it was absolutely fantastic. Well, it sounds like you're saying it was terrible, Gray. Well, if that's how you take it, Mary Lou, I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, I think there are some people that actually enjoyed it. Okay, Gray, next time I'll smoke the low-cal cigarettes, okay, buddy? Yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea. All right, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and until next time, everybody, be safe out there. Good night, everybody. Jay! Wow, that was a really long pregnant pause you had there. <laughs> you think so? Great, thanks, man. That wasn't really a compliment. I was just wondering why there was such a long pause. Uh, what happened? Look at, look at, look at. What am I looking at? What happened? What happened? What happened? All right. See you guys later. Be safe out there.